You give us three minutes, and we give you the world. Good evening. I'm Casey Wong. A military submarine that went missing over three years ago has suddenly reappeared in the Baltic Sea. Confused seamen mistakenly opened fire on the last Lapland reservation, killing 12. Thankfully, our homesick sailors are back on U.S. soil. Welcome back, boys. In local news, a new crime wave that is sweeping Detroit has already claimed the lives of 21 police officers. Here's a statement from the head of OCP, Omni Consumer Products, that's funding and running the Detroit Police Department. Old Detroit has a cancer, and that cancer is crime. It must be cut out, and OCP holds the scalpel. According to our sources, the attacks were aimed at catching the attention of a man whose identity remains unknown. This dangerous new guy in town seems to have his eye on doing business in old Detroit. Your filthy hands off me. Shut I'm sorry. Uh, there seems to be a, a, a... Disturbance? I'm a big fan. Now move! Don't adjust your television sets. Your regularly scheduled program will be back shortly. Now, this message goes out to the new guy in town. It seems that you're looking to spend some money in this great city of ours. I'm here to tell you that the Torchheads are open for business. You may have heard of us as the number one supplier of nuke in old Detroit. The most potent, addictive drug available in front of every convenience store, school, or library near you. But that's not all we're capable of. Let's get you up here. We'll uh, get Officer... Officer Howard to illustrate the point. You see, Officer Howard made a drug bust that cost us a lot of money. We want to reward this dutiful officer with a performance bonus. A lifetime supply of nuke. Oh man, you're gonna have the time of your life. There you go. Enjoy. New guy, us torchheads are more than capable of doing whatever you need done in our city. So what is it, huh? Arson, smuggling, drug dealing, good old fashioned murder. We do it all. You've got the money. We've got the power. So let's talk. Good to see you, Murphy. Lieutenant's at the main entrance to the TV station. The ground's shaking. Judgment Day's here! Hey, Anson, we're here for the show! Bother. I already ran the plates. You should know by now when it comes to evidence, we're hoarders. If it keeps on like this, we're gonna run short of body bags. I'm gonna give you 10 milligrams of diazepam to make you comfortable. Longer. Those trigger happy maniacs have a ton of hostages. But, sir, Roger that. Over and out. What is the situation? Goddamn OCP tells us to stand down till SWAT arrives. That's our situation. 
Looks like I'm on my way out. Not so fast, buddy. Who do you think is gonna clean up this place? I'm not letting you off that easily. You sound just like my wife. If that's the case, let's get you patched up. We wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Press here. Medic! There you are, partner. Lewis. The hell is going on up there? Sorry, dude! The police want us to release the hostages! I, oh, so no hard feelings! Hey! You, you can't go in yet! We need to wait for the reinforcements! Reinforcements have arrived. I knew you'd say something like that. We need to find another way. It is too dangerous to cross. For me. But you can take the heat. Go, I'll figure something out. Besides, you could do with a head start. Go on. I've got a signet ring. How much do you think I can get for it? Is it gold? It was taken off someone famous. Just look at him. He looks kind of familiar. Guys, guys! We've got company! Anyone expecting a silver freak? Drop it, scum! Evacuate immediately. Worried about the weight limit? Lewis, you're here. We need to get these elevators back online. The service box is in the basement. Let me. 
I doubt you had time between all the heroics, but I got a key card from the janitor. It's good to do some real street work from time to time, you know. After you. That graffiti is fresh. I bet some of those idiots are still here. I can smell some burnt electric!
I am detecting a short circuit. We need to isolate the cables. I think I've got something just for that. You are very resourceful. Thanks, but I'd say it was a team effort. They're holding everyone in the studio. It's on the 30th floor. finally decided to join our glamorous show. I'm afraid you're too late for my autograph. Chopper's ready. I've got to go, but the party goes on. Guys, make sure you provide all our guests with a decent amount of amusement, so don't skimp on the nuke. See ya. What a freaking psycho. We need to be quick before they kill anyone else. I know that look, Murphy. You saw something, didn't you? We are here to enforce the law, Lewis. Let us stay focused. Right. Just keep in mind that I'm here if you need me, partner. Slime bags detected. Just look at that, boys! The police dog and its bitch! Not sure which one is which. <laughs> You're gonna take that back.
Thank God you've come. This lady really needs to see a doctor. Murphy, these people need help. Why don't you go ahead? I'll stay with them. Right. This is Lewis. We have rescued three hostages, one with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. Requesting urgent medical assistance. Over.
Sure thing, Mom. What are we having? It's a surprise. Little man, have you washed your- Alex? What do you think about the color of this dress? I'm not sure if I like the pattern. James really looks up to you. He said in school Watch that he out, wants to be a police officer just like you. One of those choppers, like the one that took soot. You hear me? You work so hard, honey. Why don't you take some leave? We all could use a little break from this reality, don't you think? Wakey, wakey! I'm talking to you, shiny. Stand back from that door, or I'll shoot her. I swear to nuke. I don't know what I would do if I ever lost you. You got three seconds. Three. Our family is the only thing I need to be happy. Two! Are you fucking deaf? Trust me, we will stay like this forever. One! Last chance, weirdo! I love you so much, Alex. You okay there, Murphy? at once. Get it away from me! I am sorry. Can you see? It's unstable! Ma'am, please calm down. It's been a very tough evening and I assure you that everyone wants to be back home with their families. Though for some of us, the night has just begun. Cash? No problem. Do you take singles? Get back in line. They're here. Good job, Murphy. I think you're forgetting someone. Officer Lewis, you were remarkable. Sut ran off with his tail between his legs. Would have been nice if we caught him, though. All right, all right. Are you done with this circle jerk, huh? Good. We've got a problem. The malfunction caught on camera provokes a question. Can we put our safety into the hands of a machine? Especially one as unreliable as Robocop. We asked Max Becker, the head of security concepts at OCP. Now quiet! We would never put a defective product on the streets. That's not what we do. We all saw it hesitate in a life and death situation. Why? Does it really know right from wrong? Listen, I would trust this guy with my kids. I mean, if I had any. This was just an isolated glitch. Thank you. Mr. Becker, I've got more questions. I just want to snap her little neck. But, she's got a point. This was not an isolated incident. It's a pattern. A 
pattern that the old man once examined and fixed. Time to see what's hiding in that metal head of yours. We know what's in Murphy's head. It's what's in yours that worries us. Push me, and you might just find out. You, follow me. Everyone is dismissed. And Lewis, your report on the TV station incident. On the double. On it, Sarge. God damn it, when will this be fixed? Don't hold your breath. OCP isn't looking to spend a dime on our equipment. What seems to be the problem? <sighs> My damn locker won't open. Can you try? shit doing in my locker. I <laughs> wanted you to be safe out there. Yeah, you guys, very fun. There's my favorite walking, talking law enforcement machine. Okay, let's get on it. Why don't you take a seat for me? That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? You do not. Trust me. Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. So, here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, he wants to fix you. Hey, pretty boy. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. Doesn't it hurt him? Hurt? Lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little monitoring chip. It will do a real-time check of your systems, so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So, better be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here. Well, I can already see some unwanted activity in your hippocampus. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Other than that, everything seems to be installed correctly. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Okay, nothing disturbed. However, like with any new upgrade, I recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration. Is that everything? Actually, no. Doctor? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, my name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. I'm a police psychologist. I specialize in dealing with police officers suffering from emotional trauma. Emotional trauma? Might as well talk to the microwave. It hasn't been working properly either. OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure that your mechanical components work. However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected is your human side. Your brain. I agree. If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? Would save us a lot of hassle. 
I don't mind the hassle. So what do you say, officer? Is that possibly something that could be of interest to you? I am not sure. Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room in five. It's about the new guy. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. Uh, but we... Well, can't say we didn't try. Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you usually do around here. Tell you it was crazy in that TV station. Good job you had Murphy in with you. You bet. Without him, we'd all be gardeners. I heard you're scheduled for calibration. Step right up and press the button when you're ready. Two points as well as you can fall the passing grade. Wouldn't be a problem to you. It's 50. Unless you want to try to break the record. Job. I'll let the eggheads know that you're good to go. See you in the briefing room. Oh man, no, I just can't do it. There is no way. Murphy, would you give me a hand? I can deal with blood, guts, but puke is a no-go for me. Oh, be a sport and move his ass to the drunk tank for me. You've got your special gloves and extra protection, so you shouldn't mind. Just take him downstairs. I 
owe you one, Murphy. Oh no, the smell is following you. I'm gonna be sick. I don't remember getting on a, a roller coaster. Look who's back home. Just toss him in one of the empty cells. Ah, uh, finally. Home. Sleep tight. Murphy! Could you please help me out here? What seems to be the problem, officer? Reed is in the briefing room, and I have my hands full. There are so many complaints filing in that I can't keep up. It's getting crazy in here. Could you open up another line and help me? I am here to serve the public trust. Take the spot on the podium. You're a lifesaver, Robo. This line is open. Please form an orderly queue. Officer, I have a problem. My neighbors are hostile toward me. I think it's because they're jealous of my new dog. Why would they get so worked up every time I take him for a walk? What is his name? He has a beautiful red coat, so I call him Fire. He likes to hide, so sometimes I have to yell, Fire! Fire! To find him. Anyway, can you do something about my neighbors? Your behavior disrupts public order. I must issue a ticket. That's fine. I don't mind paying the price for having the cutest dog in all Detroit. Next, please. Uh, I, I got something for you, officer. I know where you can find a wanted criminal. That poster over there says there's a reward for that information. And I want it. I want details. Are you blind? I'm the guy from that poster, so here I am. Now, give me the money. I will have to detain you. Fine, but I still get the reward, right? You can hope for a reduced sentence. Uh, that's not the reward I was hoping for, but I'll take it. It'll be good to get back to jail. Life as a free man can be tiring. Take him away. Next, please. Officer, I would like to report my son missing. How old is he? He's 24, but he's never been gone for so long without letting me know. How long has it been? Just over two days now. We do not consider an adult missing within 72 hours. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Something's not right. You really need to find him. What is his name and address? George Elkins, 7706 Orchard Avenue. Let me check. Your son was found dead two hours ago. What? Oh, no. Thanks for the help, Murphy. It's no secret that crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the Torchheads. Robo, I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs' informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there! You go ahead, partner. 
I need to write this report, and there's something else I need to do first. City, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all, all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. One parking ticket is all it takes to improve mindfulness. It's getting colder, and now we don't have anything for the fire! Hey, Robo, can you help me out here? Be a man, pig! Why make such a big deal? How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dope head buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke, or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me, because the guy broke your nose? As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Do not worry. According to my directives, there are several ways to convince him to cooperate. I, I ain't gonna let it reprogram my brain. We can talk, but don't let it drill into my head, okay? The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others hide their stash. We could collect nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been smashed by vandals yet. Is this Maurice? Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now, so make it quick. Can you take a break and let some others have some fun too? Man, you're doped up already. You like to party, don't you? But wait, your voice. You sound like... A future happy customer. Fucking Robocop! You wanna bust me? Why don't you do a better job of finding guys who vandalize phone boots? I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone in this goddamn... What the fuck is it this time? Anybody home? Don't hide, Maurice. It's just a friendly visit. You like to do laundry? You should try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Robocop, you have to help me! The back of the red building by the supermarket! Apartment 6! There's some guys here! I think they mean business! Hurry! He's on the phone! Oh, I'm telling you, officer. Dumpsters are like a bag of candies. You never know what you're gonna get. Footsteps. 
someone starts shooting again, make sure the kids hide under the bed. Listen, guys! I'll never touch your stuff again! I swear! That's not why we're here. So what do you want? The money? I have your money! You only have half of it, and that's the problem! You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice! Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing costs is a good idea. Under what? But it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. Antitrust laws are there for a reason. Shit, Maurice! All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. We can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical! Not to mention illegal. The fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. Get him! you do that? What am I gonna sell now? There are serious charges against you, Maurice. However, you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs. Or I can jump into that pile of garbage below. A few bruises is better than jail. Do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that? I know the hood better than you do, cop. So try some different talk or I'll jump. Even if you escape Sutter's out to get you, you will be safer in prison. I missed our meeting. I was busy, but he doesn't get that. Doing laundry is important to me. It relaxes me. If you cooperate, you can get a job at the prison laundry. You mean... I eat and live for free? And I do what I like to do anyway? <sighs> I, I, I feel like I won the lottery, man! I'll tell you where these jerks kept this stuff. 
but I have to have our deal in writing. Drew a gun. Ask me for money. Only a moron steals from a beggar. That's what I said. But then he started shooting. At least it ain't raining. You piece of shit! Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business. Which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? What a douchebag. Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down, and where am I supposed to play hooky then? School may seem now like a difficult option, but it will pay off in the future. <laughs> future? Look on the street. You must have a microwave for a brain if you think that. amazing colors and there's not one but two of you from now on I promise I will cherish you more often your body readings suggest substance misuse oh man a real life TJ laser you are so incredibly shiny I'm definitely getting more of this stuff who sold you drugs I really shouldn't say but you are my TV hero, so... All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff? 
we'll sell it to you. As long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke. But I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement. They keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! Is that the ocean? Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. Surrender your weapons. No chance! Light them up! You're gonna die!
open the door or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! One of you is not a real Torchhead, but just an imitator. I knew there was something off about you! Me? It's you! I always suspected you never went through initiation! Take that back! Or what? You hot-headed bastards! For fuck's sake, don't shoot! I'm gonna open the door! Tell me, where can I find Soot? Straight to business, huh? Looks like you're my type of guy. But even if I wanted to help you, I can't. Only his closest people know his whereabouts. I just distribute his stuff, and to be completely honest, I don't want or need to know more than when the next shipment is coming. You must know the location they mentioned. Tell me where they took the police informant. And if I tell you, what's in it for me? Does everything you do have to come with a benefit? I'm a businessman. That's the only language I speak. How about the value of your life? Who would care more to save it, police or soot? Let's say I'm convinced. They've taken him to the ghost house. It's what they call one of their sites. From what I've gathered, it's that big, burned-down building a bit down the road. Anyway, that's all I know. That will have to suffice. For now. Stay here. Dispatch. Requesting a squad car.
just stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000, registered to Melissa Kuzak. Those people on the first floor are paranoid. They put blinds in the windows. They can't watch the TV no more. Hey, me found my gun and teeth. What? Someone knocked out his teeth, including the gold one. He's asking if anyone found it. For some to learn how not to lose the track of time is to learn how not to lose their money. Officer, truth, are we poor? Dad? Dad? Tired of your kids asking annoying questions? You just want to relax after the long day. Are we going to be okay? Citizen, I am ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. Man, So uh, what, what you gonna do? You you can't put me behind bars. I, I'm still a kid and only done it once. J just let me off with a warning, will ya? It is my duty to warn you not to commit that or any violation again. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'll do my best not to get caught again. Shaking in your boots. Look, Robocop is here. We're safe. Hey, I might be a little late filing my tax return, but sending a one man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX 6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy car and fancy name, but I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest, I did some work on one of those cars recently, but I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. Do I have your permission to search the shop? I know what the world's like, 
but can a man go about his business without being harassed all the damn time? I can come back with a warrant, but then I will not be knocking. You think that's going to scare me? This is Detroit, for God's sake. People try to threaten me nearly every day. I do not try. You know what? If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. See, I've told you, you'll find Jack all, because there ain't nothing to be found. This place is legit. 63% of your repair invoices have not been accounted for. You've gone over my books? I thought you came here looking for the car thief. Looks like there is more than just one thief to be caught. Oh, come on. This is how everyone operates in this godforsaken city. Cut me some slack, will you? Okay, you win. So there's this boy, Scott. He works for me on and off. He might have something to do with the missing car. Let me open his locker for you. That's his locker. Go on, have a look. And what do you reckon? Is he your man? For the time being. Where is the suspect? You see, he hasn't turned up for work for some time. This morning when two thugs swung by looking for him, I knew he must be in trouble. I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments. Tell me why you think he is responsible. He's young, bright, and would like to rule the world. I get it. But nearly every month, he gets himself in trouble. It is not enough to make assumptions. I'm not a cop, but I've seen many things in my life. And where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Why did you cover for him? I can't watch a decent kid like him get swallowed by this city. Don't look at me like that. Instead of giving him up, I was encouraging him to come clean. But a man can only try. Is he a temporary worker? You could say that. We fall out a lot because he brings a lot of hot stuff to the shop, and I'm not okay with it. And you let him come back? It's hard to make an honest living these days. That's why I understand his struggle, and I let him come back. Working here keeps him out of trouble. And to be frank, it's not easy to find such a good mechanic, either. That is all for now. Hey! Make sure no harm comes his way. He might have done some foolish things in the past, but he's a good kid, and he deserves another chance. A court of law will be the judge of that. Dumpster behind the mega store. I got 15 bucks. Quiet, unless you want to lose them.
there? Oh, it's only you. Oh God, I messed up good. You must be Scott. What did you do with the blue SUX 6000 that you stole? Hey, well, why would I have anything to do with that? I have found evidence in Ben's shop. You can't possibly help me. I don't want to cause any more trouble, especially for Ben. Admitting to a crime is the best course of action for any young offender. I can't go to Juvie. Who's gonna fix this mess? My duty is to serve the public trust. Okay, okay. I admit. It was me who jacked the SUX. But he didn't leave me any choice. Who is he? I can't tell you. If he knew I gave him away, he'd take revenge on Ben. Oh God, it must be those thugs. We're dead. No one is going to save us. If they are criminals, then they are the ones who need saving. Hello? Anybody home? Where are you, Scotty boy? You can only hide for so long. Oh, it's the metal pick. Blast it! We to try! We can do this! You did it! They didn't think that through. Maybe you can put an end to this after all. I am missing vital information in order to resolve this case. I'll tell you what you want. Just please, help me fix this screw-up. Where is the car now? Oh man, I'm sure it's still in their chop shop. It's a warehouse on the northeast side. The entrance is concealed, but I'm sure you'll find it. I'm no fighter, but if there is any other way... I would like to help. Maybe you need some more intel. Who did you mean by him? It's Rex, from the local gang. I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. He said he wanted the SUX 6000 we were repairing at Ben's. 
When I said it was too hot, he slashed me with his knife. Why were you hiding? You saw those thugs. They were looking for me. They realized I tricked them. They wanted the SUX 6000 from Ben's shop, but I didn't want to get him into trouble, so I stole a different one. I doubt anyone would have given a shit, but word on the street is that it belongs to the mayor's niece. Any criminal matters should be reported to the police. I know. I just thought I could figure this out by myself. Ben was right from the start. I shouldn't have gone down this road. That is all for now. Proceeding to the vehicle's estimated location. You are calling for backup, aren't you? Negative. Threat calculation minimal.
can't believe you've actually done it! Do you think I could take that car back to the owner and say I'm sorry? Maybe she won't press charges. This car is now in police custody. Oh, please, I could really use a helping hand right now. Otherwise, I'm back in juvie. Proceeding to secure the perimeter. Keys are in the ignition. Thank you so much! I promise I won't mess this up! You need to be taught some manners.
Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. Then my service is free. No, of course not. You're right. You did save my skin. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, <laughs> and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know? But it turned out to be groceries. So they left it. I made a pretty penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want them. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer a street entrepreneur. You know what they say, a good business is where you find it. free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom, and I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though. His missus don't seem very fond of me. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh no. One thing you should know about me. I love cops, you know. Law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas. But so is Nuke. And when I need it, I tend to forget about the... Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Funny enough, he always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is... I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh, about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib. And it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh boy, you're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. 
I gotta chillax after all this. We will proceed with haste. Oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. Apartment 21. Oh man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? No, I'm just nervous. Me and Gail have a complicated relationship. She's good at reading people, and I'm the type of person that doesn't like to be read. I know that inevitably I'll do something she doesn't approve of. Like steal a watch? Like steal a watch. Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, Gail. no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you gonna steal? Huh. Funny you should say that. I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you could tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction. That that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me, but maybe it's in his files. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances, even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles? That unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it. So do the Earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know? <laughs> I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid and I think he suspects something. Could. You maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should <laughs> light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends.
That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. Is... is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it, like, time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Oh, Daniel. Sure. Good evening, citizens. I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. You are not the only ankle breaker on this basketball court. And that's letting you off easy. I've seen him do way worse for less. Shit, I, I, I was just messing with you. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. I see a couple of drawings over there. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. <laughs> Man, are we really jaywalking? That's a hundred dollar fine. Huh. I guess we're conducting an investigation. Come on, kid! Where are you? Should be somewhere. Shoe print, size 7. That's gotta be his. What about over there? No, it is locked. They did not go inside. Chalk here. 
Must have found something more interesting. So I guess you have like a scanning thing in your eyes. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like Nuke. What the fuck? That was close. We'd better hurry. Do it! Come on! And him! What are you waiting for? Fuck him up! He's laughing at you! Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! Oh no. It's the cops! I don't want to go to jail for this shit! Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not... Whoa! What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say- Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on, sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that's the right thing to do. That's strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom... See... You already know what to do. You can start by... giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No. It's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. It's late. Let's get you home. Well, you tell my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. Partner, what's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I had to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done.
Public drinking is against the law. Public? But this is my private sofa. I've dragged it all the way from the junkyard. You need to obey the law. Like it's for you to decide. My place, my law. Sense of entitlement has a negative impact on the ones around you. I think I can live with that. Help! Help! This rascal was trying to steal my cart. Look what he's done! Have I just wrecked your life savings? Tough shit, stinker. Antisocial behavior towards a fellow citizen can be classified as a crime. A lesson for the future. To save yourself the trouble. Clean up on the double. You can't do it. I was only messing. I could have just picked it all up. Hey, you tell him, robot man! What a fucking joke! One that likes swimming in oil, surely must be swimming in money. Littering is prohibited. What was I supposed to do? I've missed the garbage collection and we had fish on Friday. You have no idea how much it reeks. You violated the law. Oh man. So I pay the city for not removing my garbage and now I have to pay for removing it myself? That's ridiculous. The moral is, stay away from fishy activity. This is where Soot is supposedly hiding. Can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole city. A bit Rudy forgot about us. At least I will not feel bad crashing his party. Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. And despite that burden, you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you.
concert in an old slaughterhouse? I suppose it fits those animals. The place looks deserted. Are you sure your junkie friend didn't mix up the venues? He is the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see. Cannot go this way. We would need a warrant. I can't believe those stupid directives are still holding you back. <clears throat> go ahead, partner. Oh, the stench. Someone missed potty training. If Sid is such a great performer, shouldn't there be a big line in here? Regardless of his vocal abilities, I still want to see him sing. something. Maybe your informer was right after all. Gherkin, was it? Pickles. Yes, I definitely hear some commotion on the other side. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh shit! Pig Thunder Lab! Why can't you give us a fucking break? Justice never sleeps.
Murphy? Behind you! Uh, up you get, big man. They're closing in on us. Lewis, wait! Don't worry, partner. We'll stay in contact.
eyes on the stage. Looks like they haven't realized we're here yet. Shoot here. Get closer. I'll support you from the balcony. This music is driving me mad. Is that the point? Is it supposed to make you mad? Concentrate. I 
I need some new I can This can't be. I had everything lined up perfectly! Let us talk. Stay the fuck away! You can't touch me! I do business with the new guy! You seem to know a lot about him. You're not getting anything out of me! Do you know how many cops I've killed? I ain't scared of you! Besides, I'm pumped up with nuke like a freaking power plant! Then, get ready for a meltdown. If you think you're gonna get anything... Oh, that's quite a grip you got there! Is that supposed to scare me? Not a single scratch. On my birthday? I don't remember getting a gift from you. That's not nice. Even mine. Hey, that stuff doesn't come cheap. No, that was the only thing in my collection that I didn't steal. I freaking hate you. I'll never rest until every thing in Detroit is dead. Screw you, bastard. That is not a way to treat a famous person! Knock yourself out! That's not even mine! That stuff doesn't come cheap! That's enough! I'll talk! Lewis, I have soot. He is ready to give me his statement about the new guy. Wouldn't you rather hear it from the man himself? Where is Officer Lewis? She's outside, right next to me. We're having a nice citizen officer chat. Why don't you take my rising star? And join us, so we can exchange partners. Hey! What the hell are you doing now? The new guy is here. You are coming with me. In that case, giddy up! You even feel the fear, because you should be crapping in your pants right now. You have stepped into a big freaking mess. Cleaning up the town mess is what I do. Uh, that was an awesome concert. If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback. I need some flu. Got to take no, no, no. Everywhere I look, I 
Ozzy Noob! My left hip is getting a bit numb. Can we swap sides? What are we stopping for? Huh? Is your battery drained or something? Me and your partner here are growing impatient. Why don't you hurry up? What's wrong? Piggy scared of a meat hook? <laughs> I'm all right, Murphy. Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. Oh, I don't think you're reading this situation correctly. <sighs> Thanks for the ride, big guy. Ah, it's the new guy in town. Welcome to Detroit. I assume you've seen our little TV spot. Short and sweet. You know the first rule of show business and drug dealing, right? Leave them wanting more. That's a rider you got there. <clears throat> Murphy? Something wrong, cop. Hey, so. I think it's time to get back to business. You fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, you want to talk business? Here's a free lesson. You never, ever fuck with the money. I don't think so. Murphy, what's happening? Now that we've got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. <laughs> my brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But thanks to him, you've been given this great opportunity. What the fuck are you doing to him? There are people who would do anything to be in your position, to have your abilities. And yet, you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you, to the part that's still human. Imagine the pristine life you could lead without the things that limit you. Murphy, don't let him get inside your head! Like her. No attachments, no leverage. I admit, when I first heard that you were the reason my idiot brother was dead, well, I was furious. But then I got to thinking, why would I let anyone have such power over me? So I let it go. And now, I'm here to help you do the same. This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Lewis! Another fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready. Switch him back on already. Lewis! Whoa, Robo. Calm down, he'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. What did you do? Just stand there and watch it as it happened? I want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not gonna happen. Instead, you're gonna go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go! 
The old man wasn't happy that I let you skip your first session and was adamant that I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning has obviously persisted. So, Doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny, in that you don't have any. You either comply, or you'll be dismantled. I'm only really rooting for one of these options. Very well. Doctor? If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session in any way, I need everyone that isn't my client to leave. That is not negotiable. And is it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. If anything goes wrong, just use this reset button. One press, and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. I'm sorry it has to look like this. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? My partner was shot, and I need to find the person responsible. You do. But I think you'll agree that you should be in the best shape possible to undertake that task. I understand this is not an ideal situation, and this is probably the last place you want to be right now. I'm not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above 120 BPM. You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? I imagine it comes in handy in your line of work. It does. I agree this whole thing is happening rather fast, but we are both professionals at helping others. So how about we start again? My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm curious to hear which one you prefer. My name is Alex Murphy. Then I'll call you Alex Murphy. I've worked with many police officers that have gone through traumatic experiences, but I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary police officer. How do you see your situation? I am a cybernetic organism. A fusion of both the remains of the policeman Alex Murphy and this high-tech armor. So we can't rule out that your actions are influenced by your human part. But that's something that I've already learned from the reports. What I would much rather hear is how do you perceive yourself? Perceive? Yes. See, what I found immensely helpful in working with my patients is transparency. In order to help each other, we need to be able to see each other fully. This is how I see myself. Thank you for making this step. Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? Your heart rate remains high. No. Not at all. It's actually my secret that is making me nervous, not yours. You're not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. This hand. You must have wondered what happened. Some time ago, I was a victim of a crime. A thief broke into my house. He made a lot of noise and my neighbors called the police. And Ed 209 reacted to the call and mistakenly recognized me as a threat. My hand was red mist moments later. Since that day I have become, let's say, a little leery of machines. Do you fear me? I fear the unpredictability that machines bring with them. So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability of OCP's mechanical units, I jumped at the opportunity. I hope you don't find it unprofessional. Getting that off my chest made me feel a bit better. How about you check my pulse now? It has dropped below 120 BPM. You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I practice what I preach because it seems to work. I think that makes for a very promising start. Thank you, Alex Murphy.
All done. Robo, there's something I need to show you. Now for something positive. The daughter of Jens Danielsen, Prime Minister of Norway, who was brutally murdered during last year's parliamentary session, is expecting a baby. It's a girl. All done. Robo, there's something I need to show you. I know that OCP can be a real pain in the ass, but this might change your mind a bit. We've been working behind the scenes on giving your sidearm the treatment it deserves. The Auto 9 can now be equipped with a motherboard. Once the motherboard is in, you'll be able to mount a number of processors on it. Each processor can vastly improve your aim, damage, or stability. See for yourself. Be on the lookout. There's OCP tech in everything. You wouldn't believe how many useful processors can be salvaged from old devices. Okay, that's it from me. Becker wants to see you. He's taken over Reed's office. Say what you want about the man, but that takes guts. something positive. The daughter of Jens Danielsen, Prime Minister of Norway, was brutally murdered... Any news on Luis? Not yet. But she's been through worse. Hey, Murphy, do you have a minute? It's about Lewis. Did you say Lewis? Yeah. Me and a bunch of guys decided to sign this get well card for her. I figured that you'd want to sign it as well. A get well card? Yeah, I know it's... It's just that we want to let her know we're with her. I am sure she will appreciate that. Uh, thanks, Murphy. I knew you'd understand. Actually, there are a few signatures that we still need. Could you ask them? I think I need a break. At the start, Kowalski is hiding somewhere in the lobby. Understood. Thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Becker. Uh, you are very determined. I must have seen your application like 20 times. I assumed they were getting lost in the mail. Huh, that didn't stop you, did it? You're persistent and capable, too. Highest marks on all the written tests? Pretty much an ideal candidate. Aside from the fact that you don't meet any of the physical requirements, that's actually remarkable. Short stuff. Unfortunately, sir. Why is being a cop so important to you? My father was a police officer, and his father was one too. Oh, a police family, huh? It must be heartbreaking not to be able to continue a family tradition. You know, I have the power to look the other way and make you a cop despite your... shortcomings. In exchange, I only ask for one thing. Your complete 
loyalty. And maybe a touch of gratitude as well. Will I still get a badge? Like a proper police officer? Badge? Oh yeah, sure. Then Officer Washington is reporting for duty. Good. There you go, youngin. Is... Is that blood? We don't make a badge for every new officer. We just reassign the old ones after cops retire. Or die. R Robocop. I'm a big fan. Well, that's great, because you'll be spending a lot of time together. Meaning? Aside from his regular dispatch duty, Officer Washington will become your personal overseer. Overseer? Yes, you will report to me on his every action. Hopefully that will prevent him from continuing to tarnish his already murky reputation. His recent behavior casts a shadow on OCP, and we can't have that. That's a lot of responsibility for a rookie. Every other cop refused this post. But you won't. You wouldn't jeopardize your career, right? Uh, no, sir. I would like to proceed with my investigation, now that we know that the new guy is Wendell Antonowski. Was he even listening to anything I've been saying? Absolutely fucking not. You're off the case. Actually, you're off all cases. There's a bunch of documents that need archiving in the records room. That's your priority now. Understood. Now go. I'll tell Achilles about what's what in this godforsaken place. It's Ulysses, sir. Hey, first rule, kiddo. Never question your superiors. Not kidding. I say lethal response. What do you mean? Once a week, I guess they call the cops to collect the body of a dead burglar from his front yard. I didn't see you there, Murphy. What are you doing here, officer? Nothing much. Just trying to collect my thoughts. Would you sign the get well card for Lewis? I am supposed to get it signed and then pass it on to another officer. Uh, yeah, sure thing. That's a great idea. There you go. Signed. But could... You pass it along to another officer. I... I think I'd like to stay here for a little bit longer. Understandable. Take your time. Thanks, Murphy. Kurtz hasn't signed it yet. He was in the locker room last time I saw him. I am looking for Officer Kurtz. He's in the shower. Actually, he's been in there for half an hour. As he said... My heat signature recognizes that the water is cold. Is everything all right, Officer Kurtz? Oh, uh, you talking to me? Yeah, I guess I stayed here longer than I anticipated. I have a card to sign. 
It is for Lewis. Uh, uh, I'd love to sign it, but uh, I don't want to get it wet. Uh, could you grab my towel for me? Uh, yellow one. Uh, it should be by my locker. Okay. There you go. Thanks. Uh, just uh, give me a minute. There. Signed. Uh, I think that it's beautiful what you're doing. You are shivering. Yeah, I was lost in my thoughts. Didn't notice that I used up all the hot water. Thinking about Lewis. Yeah, but I can't imagine what you're thinking. She's your partner. Speaking of partner, I see that O'Neill hasn't signed a card yet. Uh, be a good guy and get it to her, okay? Uh, she's at the range. She'll yell at me if she finds out there was a card for Lewis and she didn't get to sign it. I will make sure that happens. Shit. Is everything all right? I think my service weapon ain't calibrated right. I could perform a check for you. Yeah. Okay. Give it a go. I guess you don't have any problems with it. Your service weapon is calibrated correctly. Yeah, I guess so. What is the matter? I can't lie. I wanted to come here and blow off some steam, but my hands are shaking thinking about Lewis. Officer. It's just that, if it happened to you, it could have happened to any one of us. Lewis is one tough cookie. She'll pull through, I'm sure of it. But I'm not so sure I could say the same thing about my partner. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make it about me. It is understandable. Is there anything I can do for you? You can sign this get well card for Lewis. Sure thing. There you go. <laughs> Almost everyone's already here. That says a lot about her impact on all of us. There's only one person missing, Sergeant Reed. He's in the garage. Do you have a minute? I noticed you running around the precinct. I am collecting signatures on a get well card for Lewis. I know. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I ride everyone hard and they probably see me as a drill sergeant. And maybe they think that I do it because I don't care. But I do care for each and every one of you. And what I'm trying to say is that I... I... I'd like to sign that card, if you let me. We are a family. You should sign it. Everyone's here already. Lewis, she made an impact. We've got to get the ones that did that to her. 
that is my intention. Right. Keep the card. She should get it from you. Thank you, Murphy. Ah, hi, Murphy. What seems to be the problem? Uh, Mr. Becker wants you to do some maintenance work, so, you know, please scan the servers, see if they're operating properly. I'm sure they are, but he insisted I found a job here for you. Yeah, I wish I had something more exciting for you to do, since for me, this is where all the action happens. Explain. With this wealth of information at your fingertips, this records room should be a real hotbed of activity. Others don't seem to know how fun it is to dig through all this stuff. You can play a real-life detective here. Officer Cecil, you are a detective. Yeah, but mostly just a paper pusher. So, if one wanted to find out the whereabouts of a particular criminal, what would one do? That's easy. Just check the computer in the back. Type in who you're looking for and see if there are any matches. Uh, j just remember to scan the servers at some point. Mr. Becker will... Blow his top if I don't make sure you checked him. Working perfectly. I'm telling you, this is incredible. Just type in your search. Never been charged? Well, that's hard to believe. There's a, a neat feature you can try. See who attempted to access this file before you did. Maybe that'll help us. Officer Briggs. Briggs? That must be the last lead that he checked before going missing. So his case led him to the Street Vultures territory? Maybe those two cases are connected after all. I'll have to report this to Sergeant Reed. And I am on my way. There's nothing I can say to stop you, is there? No. Well, then instead I'll say, go kick ass for Lewis. Perfect working condition. I am detecting a malfunction. Huh? That doesn't seem right. This server is compromised. Good thing you noticed it. It could lead to the loss of important data. I'll make sure Mr. Becker knows- We need to be on guard. OCP is trying to smuggle more of their staff into our ranks. You're right. We can't trust them. God knows what sort of people they are. Let's stay sharp. Smoke them out. Ah, Robocop. I was looking everywhere for you. I wanted to say that this is an incredible honor for me. But, you know, I get the feeling you don't see eye to eye with Mr. Becker. Yet, despite the position I'm in, I'll do my best to assist you in any way I can. So, what are you doing here? I am going to Highland Park. Oh, isn't that Street Vulture's turf? That is where the lead took Briggs. It could be connected to Wendell. Oh man, that's exactly what Mr. Becker told me you shouldn't do. It, it's my duty to stop you. Is it even safe for you to go? I mean, think of yourself. You keep malfunctioning, right? What if something happens again? 
Hey, Murphy, I found this on the back seat of your cruiser. It's for you. I can't let you go. Uh, is there some sort of a command for that? Uh, Robocop, off. Uh, Robocop, stay. Hey, all cops have to follow rules. Especially you. You're a cop and a machine, so you can't go. Your systems won't allow it. Right? Wrong. Uh, uh, Robocop? Robocop? Don't do this to me. Not on my first day. I know you're listening. There is still time to stop and turn back. The street vultures are territorial and vicious. You wouldn't want to be caught on their turf, especially by their leader, Spike. You know, I'm, I'm reading that he's known to be exceptionally savage. Apparently none of his enemies got out of Highland Park alive. I will be the first. Uh, I'm gonna get fired. Officer there will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. I'm looking at the map of this place and it's huge. There's no way you can investigate without being noticed. Street vultures are the biggest gang in Detroit. I have a large supply of bullets.
blood trail visible on the ground, I will follow it. That's what I figured. Fucker! You're gonna be our prey!
shoot! Look, I've got no weapons. I am looking for a police officer. Hey! I don't know anything! I'm just an accountant! He was brought here. There is always so much happening around here. I tend to focus on my work. I wouldn't remember. Would you like me to refresh your memory? No! Police officer, I get you. You're right. Not long ago they brought him here. He was already in real bad shape. I kind of felt for the guy. Where is he? Once he got back on his feet, they took him away. But I don't know where. I'm telling the truth. I only deal with numbers. If you need any more info on your friend, try the warehouse office. It's on the west side of the mill. Do not move until I return. No problem. If anyone finds me cuffed up here, I will look as tough as the others. Are you ready to come back to the precinct? Negative. A wounded officer, perhaps Briggs, is moved to another location. I have the thug's testimony. Proceeding to the enemy command center. How can you be sure that he's not leading you into alliance then? I am hoping for it. <sighs> You're hopeless. jurisdiction and according to the new policy if we wanted to legally be there we'd need to go through an OCP executive and I'm sure you know what Becker's term is I believe I do I'm trying to understand why he hired me or handful
heroes? It's their cemetery. Thank you.
you guys are boring. Could you at least give me some nuke? That's what's wrong with this town. Your drugs are making people wacko. Ah, uh, you're the one to talk. I know you stole supply from us. Come on, sharing is caring. I'll share a bullet with you. Just let me get the gun. Did I just do it with my mind? Does it mean I can make Robocop do anything for me? Try it, creep. <sighs> Blink! You did Blink, didn't you? <laughs> Enough playing around. I will return to complete the arresting procedure. Stay here, do not move. You're kidding! Why would I move? This chair is super comfy. Just tell my parents I won't be home for dinner!
I knocked his fucking tooth out. Well, cop, now we know you won't be leaving here in one piece. You won't either. Hey, you're spoiling my mood again. I don't like it when cops wander around. Cops mean trouble, and trouble upsets me. So really, this is your fault. Do whatever you want. But soon the cops no. will... No. No cop of any kind is going to show up here anymore. The police officially won't be responding to any calls from this area. Does this mean we have a deal? As long as you can work quietly. We're vultures. You need carrion. We're up to the job, no worries. And as for your toy... Would you like to join us? <laughs> a fine offer. Sealing our contract in blood. But I prefer cleaner games. How about instead we do some hunting? Could add a bit of cheer. Spice things up a bit. And I know just the right place for how does it feel knowing we're gonna take you to the quarry and shoot your ass to pieces? And the police ain't gonna do shit about it. I bet it really pisses him off. off the charts. What happened? I found a tape of Briggs being tortured. Their boss Spike was in on it, together with Wendell Antonowski. Did you say he was tortured? Yes, surrounded, with no way out and no backup. That sounds so messed up. They used him as prey. They mentioned a quarry. Uh, did, did you say quarry? Okay, let me, let me have a look. Yeah, I see it. It's just north of your position. On my way. Robocop, I really hope you find him.
That's the quarry. I hope you find Briggs. I will not stop until I do. Oh, so you think you're a tough guy, huh? If you really think you got the guts, come on. You'll love our place in the Northwest. It's the hub of our movement operations. And I'm telling you now, there's plenty. And let's not forget the other one in the North. It's filled with them crazy drugs we skimmed off those stupid punks. Now tell me, that's not something that would interest you. He's clearly prepared an ambush for you. That's why you won't try to go there, right? Right?
Cherish the good times while they last. You won't be so lucky with the next one. Robocop? Are you there? I am. Oh, thank God. <sighs> How was it? Was that a risk worth taking? Carry and spot it! <laughs>
Astrocorp. After you die, Astrocorp will cremate your body, put it in a capsule and onto a rocket ship.
Robocop, your body temperature is very low. Are you okay? I am in the freezer. What is a freezer even doing there? They used it to store Briggs' body. Oh. So that means... He was not the only victim. <sighs> More bodies? That's insane. I'm getting you back up, even if it gets me in trouble. The only person who should expect trouble is Spike. All available patrol cars are coming to support you. I've told them to meet you by the old workers' building. According to reports, it's part of their headquarters. And Robocop, I'm sorry it took so long. I hope you can forgive me for the freshman attitude. I was just trying to do my best.
Good, you're here. We're standing our ground. The bikers have retreated to the yard behind that big gate. Now, let's decide on the strike team. I go on my own. No need to risk lives. OCP has supplied us with an ED-209. Maybe you could make use of it. Even if it is just for cover. Robocop, can I have a moment of your time? Can you leave him alone, lady? You caused him enough trouble already. Hey, I just want the people to know what's going on in their city. Can't say she isn't good at what she does. She got here before us. Anyway, it's up to you. If you need a bit of time to speak with her or wrap up anything else around here, it's not a problem. Those bikers aren't going anywhere. But if you're ready to go, Ed 209 is here for your support. Just say the word. Their time is up. I am going in. Good luck, Murphy. Fighting hand in hand? I can't wait to see how this goes.
Put down your weapon. won that round, huh? <laughs> I was not expecting that. I'm guessing you're close to catching Spike. Maybe he could lead us to Wendell. If those two struck a secret deal, no wonder Wendell ditched the punks. Anyway, be careful in there. I wouldn't be surprised.
Like this. Murphy, you got the cop killer. You decided to trespass on our turf, and that shit doesn't fly with us. What's that noise? Please put down your weapon. You have 20 seconds to comply. The situation is under control. You now have 15 seconds to comply. Stand back. I'm doing one better, cop. I'm out of here. You now have five seconds to comply for. I said three, everything two, is under control. One, Ed, I stand am now there. authorized to use physical force. Hey, what's Please going on over there? Weapon. I am under attack from Ed. What? Uh, uh, okay, okay. Let me see if I can help. I'm pretty sure I saw its documentation here in the precinct. Uh, be right back. Okay, listen to this. Apparently, Ed 209 speaker cover is often reported compromised after field duty. Why don't you try making that your target? What the hell happened here? Ed 209 malfunctioned. Uh, is... is he still alive? I am afraid not. OCP sent us a malfunctioning unit. I bet they did that on purpose. And what about the other cop killer? Where did Spike go? Wherever he went, justice will find him.
Uh, my wife. She was with me when they started shooting. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Yeah. No! I am looking for a female officer who arrived yesterday with a gunshot wound. You need to be a little more specific, honey. Her name is Lewis. She is in a coma. Ah, oh, second floor. Take the elevator. That's the VIP section of the hospital. But there's so much room in there, we're all cramped up in this little space. Sir, please. Murphy. She's right in here. Another visitor? She's in a stable condition. You know, some think that people in her state can hear what's happening around them even if they don't respond. Why don't you try talking to her? Now, I'll leave you two alone. Hello, Lewis. Allow me to update you on our case. I know you would hate to be behind on the investigation. I found Officer Briggs. He is dead. Wendell Antonowski has the street vultures collecting bodies. His intent is not clear. I opened your present. It helped. Thank you. I could really use your advice, Lewis. Take the body downstairs. But there's no more room in the morgue. Didn't you hear? Someone stole a bunch of bodies over the weekend. A corpse thief? What is this world coming to? Lewis, you always find a way to help. I'll keep her safe. Don't you worry about her. What's her blood pressure? I've got 40 pal. Course VFib. Okay, we gotta shock him. Let's get the ambu bag. Stand clear. Shock him. Clear. All right, no pulse. Let's go intracardiac epinephrine. Okay, everybody, clear. Stand clear. All right, I think that's all we can do. Let's call it. What's the time? 6.15. Robocop, what a surprise. I'm guessing you're here about the missing bodies? No one from the police has come to talk to us yet. I suppose you are preoccupied with the living rather than the dead. Tell me about the case. Usually, we're pretty packed. There are even some bodies that have been here since Christmas. But a couple of nights ago, someone broke into the hospital and stole 30 of them. 
It's been a blessing in disguise, really. We've got so many unclaimed bodies that I feel like I'm starting to form relationships with them. Is there any link between the bodies? Actually, there is. Our thieves were very picky. All of the corpses had their brains intact. They didn't take a single corpse that had documented brain trauma. I've got to say, they were very thorough. Anything else? That's it for me, but talk to the security guard in the lobby. He should know more. Now that I'm looking at you, didn't I work on you? I recognize that jawline. Finally! I've been calling you guys for the past two days. What do you know about the disappearance at the morgue? Sure, sure, I know I'm just a security guard, but I know how you operate. I've seen the shows, so let me break it down for you the way you'd understand. I estimate the incident occurred at around 300 hours. Multiple perps entered the GMH from the east and then proceeded to the BLE. Then most likely use the EFS to get down to the M-O-R-G-U-E. What can you tell me about the perps? We caught their leader. You caught him? Where is he? Oh, I mean on camera. Uh, there it is. Caucasian male, late forties, dapper dresser, if I can say so myself. That was very helpful. Thank you for your cooperation. No problem. Just because I don't have a badge or a service weapon or a cruiser and partner or even a bulletproof vest, that doesn't mean that I can't be of help to the police. Good to see you in one piece, Robo. Mr. Becker wasn't happy when he heard about your little trip to Highland Park. But between you and me, what you did was quite impressive. Maybe it wasn't an authorized mission, but it can still give us an idea of how your systems are holding up. So, let's see how you did. Thank you for your cooperation. What's all the commotion?
This is not the time. You all know the procedure by now. Officer Cecil will gather Briggs' belongings and deliver them to the family. They asked for a small funeral, so I expect everyone to give the family space. Briggs was one of us. We should at least do something to honor him. Best thing we can do is get those butchers that did this to him. I want to see everyone in the briefing room in ten minutes. Now back to work! Hey, Murphy. You've been to the hospital, haven't you? How's Lewis? Unconscious, but stable. <sighs> She'll pull through. I'm sure of it. It's time to hold OCP accountable. This can't keep happening. Relax, Kaplan. He's not wrong. How many more of us have to end up in the hospital or a morgue before we do something? It's like Sarge said, we need to get the guy who did it, so maybe let's focus on that? Speaking of which, there's someone who might know something. There's a guy in the jail that wants to talk to you, Robo. See you later in the briefing room. Welcome back, Robo. You have a minute? Ah, uh, this is my First favorite. of all, I wanted to say I'm sorry that I hesitated back at that steel mill. I already filed a report on the incident to Mr. Becker. Fucking rat. As I was writing it, I'd noticed a lot of opportunities to better myself. But considering that was our first mission together, it wasn't all bad, right? You helped plenty. Uh, still a long way to go. I've been getting to know different aspects of being a cop, and there's one thing that I keep underperforming at. It's shooting. Would you mind showing me how you practice at the range? Yes, practice makes perfect. Let us not waste any more time. You want to go now? <laughs> yeah, great. Let's go. I love this television. Should we start? First, I want to watch you practice. Shrimp. Can I come in now? I, I just cut myself. That was awesome. We are not done yet. Right. This has to be some sort of record. I took so many notes. Next time, do it quietly. Eliminate distractions. Being overeager is one of them. Ah, so that's the actual lesson. 
Now I get it. Is your service weapon properly prepared? I was issued this old gun and serviced it according to the manual. I will try it out. Sure thing. There you go. Everything okay? Your service weapon is broken. I calibrated it. I did everything the manual said. It is beyond repair. They must have issued it to you by mistake. Huh. I don't think that's entirely true. Other cops give me a hard time because Mr. Becker hired me to monitor you. But I guess that's the way it has to be. A cop must be ready. Get a different gun. Sure. Thank you, Robo. Why are you in this cell? I come here to think sometimes, and the food is better than in the soup kitchen. That is called freeloading. If it's free, I'll take it. But seriously, I was hoping to see you. I heard what happened to Briggs. After everything he did for me, I'll do whatever I can to help you catch that Wendell guy. He seems pretty good at pitting people against each other. Maybe I'll find some of his dissatisfied customers who'd be willing to talk to me. It could be dangerous. You kidding? On the streets, I'm a samurai. Well... With Briggs dead, it probably makes me more of a... You are not a ronin. Yeah, okay. Just remember, if you need anything, I'm your guy. Always the one that has to do it. It's not fair. What is it, officer? Huh? Uh, oh, I, 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 I didn't realize I was talking out loud. It's just that I need to hang Briggs's picture on the memorial wall. It's just a lot. Hey, would you be so kind and help me? All you have to do is find Briggs's photo in the database and print it out. Just make sure to hang it straight. Otherwise, I won't hear the end of it from Sarge. Thanks, Murphy. I still need to go get his stuff, so you know I'm gonna take care of the desk, but could you get his belongings from his locker?
You can put everything in the box. I'll make sure his family gets it. You know, I usually do all of this alone, and it doesn't get any easier no matter how many times I do it. But having you share this responsibility with me, it actually helped. Thank you, Murphy. Thanks to RoboCop's insubordination, we finally have something concrete. At your service. Wendell Antonowski struck a deal with the street vultures at Highland Park. A place where, for some reason, we weren't supposed to go. Be that as it may, we're on the lookout for anyone from this biker gang. We also know what he's looking for. Yeah, dead bodies. Dead bodies whose brains are still intact, to be precise. Wow. That's even more messed up. Why would he need him? We'll get to the whys, but for now we need to focus on catching Spike. He's our connection to Wendell Antonowski. Since they know we're onto them, I'm expecting them to be in hiding. They're not hiding. Put on Channel 9. What in the hell? I repeat, OCP Bank is being robbed by the notorious street vultures. We'll keep trying to get closer for a better view. All right, everyone back up. I want you all to be at SWAT's disposal. Sergeant, am I back on the case? I don't think Becker will give me grief if I let you go save OCP's money. You're reinstated. Everyone, move out! Look at that. One of the cops was actually bothered to show up. No need, SWAT's got it covered. What is the situation? Vultures came up with the great idea of robbing the OCP bank. They've got hostages, and they claim there's a bomb. They must be crazy to think that OCP will just let them leave with their money. Was there any sighting of Spike? Not yet. But I'm sure they wouldn't pull such a stunt without their leader. What is the plan? Let me make this clear. It's SWAT's plan. You're no part of it. Then you are going to need a new plan. Buggy brain of yours, you think you still remember how to put the heat on them scumbags? I prefer to serve justice cold.
Well done. Robocop, open the gate for the N209 units. We'll secure the area. So good. You should be heading towards the vault. It's through the office area. Please put down your weapons. Put down your weapons. Put down your weapons. I knew you were gonna lose. Our line of work.
information that the bank manager is held hostage in the vault. Where exactly is it? Find the manager's office, and we'll go from there. It's at the far end of the office area. Your presence here is unauthorized. So is depriving thousands of people of a roof over their heads. But OCP doesn't seem to mind that. Explain. Delta City. A heaven on earth that OCP plans to build in place of old Detroit. A city of the future where there is no crime or poverty. Do you believe the commercials? Unrealistic plans are not a crime. But the ways by which they're pursued may be. In order to create Delta City, OCP must first get rid of people who live in old Detroit. Now that's a topic I'd rather do a story on than you glitching. OCP offered these people investment in the project. The value of their property would cover the cost of entering the business. The later gains will far outweigh the cost. Supposedly. You do not believe that. It's OCP. There must be a catch. And I think I found it. The documents say something about additional costs. I believe that's a loophole that OCP placed in order to scam people out of their homes. That is only suspicion. And I need time to prove that my suspicion is true. Time and some of these documents I found. If you detain me, the SWAT jerks will requisition them. You can go. But if you continue to disobey the law, you will be detained. Maybe I should have treated you more like a police officer than OCP's property. Anyway, the city owes you. And I owe you too. I can see you've reached the manager's office. Great. Now look for a switch that unlocks the doors that lead to the vault. If I was a bank manager, I would probably have now take the doors behind the desk and turn left. The way to the vault should be open now. I will not contribute to depriving my grateful employer of his hard-earned savings. We're opening this vault with or without your help, you old nut job. Robocop! I knew our founder would send his best! <clears throat> We're not done yet. Mr. Becker, you're, you're still alive! I only played dead so I didn't end up like you, with a bomb strapped to my body. Robocop, you have to defuse it. The explosion could cause the company enormous losses. I need the support of a combat engineer. I saw that Orpheus kid playing puzzle games on his brakes. Ask him for help. I'll be watching you, from a safe distance. Officer Washington, I am looking at a ticking bomb. A, a bomb? Okay, I, I'm passing you through to the bomb squad. There is no time. I will need your help to defuse it. Gosh, I mean, I, I'll do my best, but, but... Just give me a moment. First aid, kidnapping... Are you looking for a bomb defusing chapter in the police manual? Found it. First rule, call qualified personnel. Oh, no. Okay, tell me what you see. Four connectors with different voltage. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. It is a C4 explosive and seems to be homemade. Yeah, that's what I'd expect from the street vultures. Four cables, green, two reds, and blue. Four cables? Got it. Cables lead to the fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. Okay, so they used this kind of bomb before. 
According to the diagram, you should detach three cables. Start from the one with the highest voltage, then proceed down one at a time to the one with the lowest voltage. There are two different color 12 volt cables. Which one do I detach first? Uh, okay, maybe this isn't the time, but I'm colorblind. I will have to improvise. Just remember, detach the one with the highest voltage first, then proceed down to the lowest voltage. It was just a minor incident. Ready to get back to business? Cause I need to make a withdrawal. Like now. Well, I should really check upstairs. Nonsense. This is OCP. Money comes first. <sighs> now, open the vault. Th there you go, sir. Great. Now out of my way. What the hell is this? Where is all the money? Our founder has most of our capital tied up in a very ambitious and resource-heavy project. Uh, I can't believe old man's blowing all of OCP's money on Delta City. Have some respect, young man. Arnold's back with the money in the next well even. You should be proud to work for such a great man. At this rate, soon there might be no one left to work for him. See what I'm talking about?
I am in pursuit of the remaining bikers. I have followed them into a tunnel. So that's how they must have gotten here in the first place. It seems they're retreating into the old industrial area. That must be where they've hidden their getaway vehicle. You gotta hurry. nearby. It's the only building with street access in the area, and it's big enough to store their vehicle. It's your best bet to proceed there. Roger that.
I am listening, Creep. Robocop! Why did Wendell Antonowski send you here? This was a suicide mission. We no longer deal with that arrogant prick. We had an agreement. We held our end of it. And apparently it slipped his mind to pay us for our services. Well, that didn't sit well with us. So now we're out to get what we're owed. The only thing you are owed is a prison cell. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm a vulture. I need my space. I'll see you around, cop. There he is! Before the attack, we all thought our money would be safe at the OCP bank. Yeah, glad we got Murphy on our team. I have pertinent information regarding the case. We'll get to that, Murphy. But right now, it's time for your psych evaluation. Becker will chew my ear off if I don't make sure you take part in it. So go! Dr. Blanche is already waiting in the observation room. Once it's over, join us in the briefing room. big idea. Piece of junk taser blew the fuse when I tried to charge it. <laughs> Robocop, is that you? I can't see anything. I am standing in front of you, Officer O'Neill. Is there a problem? Oh, CP skimps on everything when it comes to the police. Fired our maintenance guy to reduce their costs, so now we are literally in the dark. We need to get the power back on. I am equipped to deal with such situations. Follow the cables. They should take you to the fuse box.
Detroit shining beacon of hope. Thanks for the help, Murphy. Bye. So we I'm ready for your robo fitness insulated gloves. I'm afraid not. Looks like OCP is really cutting costs where it can. God knows what they'll cut next. Or who. Hey. What's that look supposed to mean? All right, let's see what's cooking under the hood. Once I'm done, he's all yours, Doctor. Hello, Murphy. Congratulations. I've seen your accomplishment on TV. I hope that I'll manage to remain professional despite sitting opposite a celebrity. How do you feel about being acclaimed as a hero again? I serve the public trust. I do not do it for fame. No. Your sense of duty is what drives you, that's clear. I'm sure you'd love to share this accomplishment with Anne Lewis. You've seen her at the hospital, haven't you? How is she? She is stable. You cherish that relationship, don't you? She's an important part of your life. Your past life, too. She is. Just like your family. You're very protective of your past. OCP cut me off from my family. And how do you view their decision to separate you from them? They would not want to see me like this. Perhaps not. But the alternative isn't much better. Nevertheless, you still think about them, don't you? What comes to mind when you try to remember your family? I see. Memories can be painful. Especially when they're connected to the ones you love. They tend to remind us of what we're missing. The thief that broke into my house I mentioned before. He was my brother. He was an addict who'd come over to steal things to sell so he could buy drugs. As you can imagine, my last memory of us together is not a happy one. But despite that, I still wouldn't want to lose it. It serves as a reminder of how I failed him. And I've been trying to rectify it ever since. I do not remember my family. I can only feel them. These feelings, how do they manifest themselves? as system failure, but OCP sees them as obstacles that need to be removed. And now you're afraid that they sent me here to convince you they are right? Did they? What you need to understand is that regardless of outside influences, my client's well-being takes highest priority. Especially now that I understand how important these memories are to you, I will fight for you in every way I know how. If you let me. I think this is a good place to end this session. Thank you for your honesty. It certainly has been noted. I've got plenty to think about for now. Yeah, just keep following the road. All right. The situation at the bank was contained in a relatively smooth fashion. So what did we learn from it? Oh my! When it's their money on the line, OCP will send RoboCop, the entire SWAT team, and a bunch of Ed 209s that actually work. Anything else? Wendell Antonowski no longer deals with the street vultures. That's right. There's been a rift in their midst, and I want to know why. Spike has proven to be talkative, under suitable conditions. That's why I want you all to head to the city and do some actual police work. We need to find Spike. 
The attack on OCP Bank was a desperate move. I'm sure there's plenty of theories floating around. So we need to listen to what the streets are saying to find where the vultures are hiding. I know someone versed in street talk. Talk to him. And, oh, I almost forgot. Murphy, once you're downtown, the old man wants to meet with you. Oh, the old man himself? <laughs> what an honor. Yeah, he's the closest Detroit has to real-life royalty. Maybe for saving him all that money, he'll knight you or something. Enough! Head downtown, ask around, and most importantly, find Spike. Robocop! Over here! You wouldn't want to make the mayor of Detroit wait, would you? May I help you, Mr. Mayor? Oh, it's me who's gonna do the helping. You know John Mills, I presume? The OCP puppet who's gunning for my seat as mayor? I've heard from a reliable source that he's planning to make you the highlight of his election bid. Judging by your expressive face, he hasn't talked to you about it yet, huh? That's what I figured. What a slimy bastard. Using your image to influence the good people of this city, and without your consent? That's clearly something that I would never do. But, you know that I've always appreciated what you're doing for our city, right? So, the real question is, what are we gonna do about it together? I am not involved in politics. Well, well, let's not get too hasty. You can still show support for me, right? We're on the same side. I need to go. Campaign season is busy, but let me leave you with one word of advice. Whatever you do, make it clear that you are not siding with meals. You can be sure that they'll twist your every word and use it against you. That's what OCP does. Thanks for the talk, Robocop. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. You two seem to be enjoying yourselves. Uh, just having a little fun with our fellow dispatcher. Don't worry, I'm sure the kid has a sense of humor. He's just a little blue hazing. And he's an OCP stooge anyway. You're not going soft on us, are you, Murphy? That did not sound like fun. It's not like he didn't deserve it. You know that he runs to Becker with a stack of papers every time you two talk, right? He's a rat. We're just looking out for you, Murphy. Robocop is getting a face-to-face -face with the old man himself? I'd tell him all about how the OCP is fucking us over. Hey, no, you shiny. wouldn't. You wouldn't say a word if you actually met him. Why? How are you feeling after the incident Last at the bank? Who gives a shit? I heard that you're heading to the city. Once you're out there, I want you to check one apartment for me. There's suspicion of domestic terrorism and corporate espionage, so expect a warm welcome. Should I assume hostility from the suspect? I assume you'll find sensitive data there. Look for it thoroughly and make sure it comes straight back to my hands. Tenement across the street from the arcade, apartment 12. Now go, I've got to prepare for a meeting. And remember, if you won't take care of it, another cop will have to. Another cop that isn't quite as resistant to deadly surprises as you are.
Daddy, what was that? Go back to your room, sweetheart. It's just someone on the staircase. So OCP is ordering you to break into the apartment of a reporter they don't like? Any comment before I write a story on that? I am here to investigate domestic terrorism. OCP sent you to my safe house because they want to know what I have on them after the bank incident. I assume there is more if you cannot store everything here. I found a rental bill for a locker in a storage facility. Make up your mind. First you let me go at the bank, and now, when I'm actually starting to figure out what the OCP scam is all about, you show up and ruin this. Do you want to help OCP avoid liability? Show me your evidence, and I will make the culprits regret their deeds. So far, you're just making my road to the goal harder. It turns out I was right. That thing that OCP plans to do with charging residents of old Detroit with additional costs, it is a loophole. It will lead to the illegal expulsion of thousands of people if you help OCP silence me. Explain. Not so fast. I need to be able to trust you first. At the bank, you've proved that you are more than just a tool programmed to obey OCP, but now the stakes are higher. What is it that you expect? Since you're here, I fully expect someone from OCP to go and check my locker. I need to protect what's inside, but there's a meeting I need to keep an eye on. Too much depends on it. I will not be involved in the smuggling of contraband. There's nothing illegal about my request. 
I need only one box from there. The one with the inscription, Bakery on the Corner. The rest you can leave to OCP to pick up. I need to just spring clean my out-of-date documents anyway. Call me once you secure the box. You're late. Sorry, I had to take a bus. Freaking OCP robots destroyed my car during that bank robbery. Man. It's RoboCop. So what? We're just sitting here enjoying the moment. Nothing suspicious. Right, officer? Shouldn't we give the fellows the signal? We should just shut up and smile like the exemplary citizens that we are. Are you lost, officer? I can show you the exit if you want. Trouble with the lock. Uh, seems that I forgot the key, but, uh... You will tell your story at the station. Are you sure you have enough seats in your car to take us all? If you do not come quietly, I will not need any.
Well, well, well. Looks like Mr. Becker was right. You're up to something behind his back. These things are supposed to go to Mr. Becker, I reckon. What will interest Becker is in locker number 17. The contents of this box are none of OCP's concern. I'll have to tell Mr. Becker that you have not given us all the material. I assure you that it will end up worse for you than for me. I'm guessing you have my stuff. Did OCP arrive at the party? They tracked my location. Because they trust you so much. Speaking of which, the box. What if I lied about it? Did you ever think of that? There may be a bomb inside or the head of my sworn enemy. Do you want to know what's inside? If there is evidence of a crime, I would like to know it. Police officer, first and foremost. In the box are my personal belongings. Letters, memorabilia, things that actually matter to me. When you become too tough to hit directly, the scum will try to get to you through your loved ones. I understand. So we have even more in common. Once OCP takes care of my old documents, I'll have the space to deal with the Delta City issue and help the people of old Detroit. You've helped them already, though. Thank you. Ronnie's Grocery. Leave the box there. What do you mean, a dollar? It's twenty. I have Samantha's belongings. Ah, uh, yes, I'm glad you're helping her. Without that girl, OCP would put us all on the street. Still might. They did a number on a lot of families, hers included. Samantha's mother took it worst. But Smoking is dangerous, not to mention illegal. I don't give a shit about either. Then you must suffer the consequences. Eh, no one in this country values independent thinkers anymore. Place, but I can't see my FTO anywhere. Could I have his name, please? Over. Sure thing. It's Officer Rat. He should be in one of the dumpsters. That's the only place he belongs, if you catch my drift. Over and out. Right. 
So much for my field training. Officer Washington, I will be your field trainer for today. Requesting readiness confirmation. Yeah, thanks for the offer, but maybe the others are right. I might not really be cut out for field work. Ask yourself, do I have the will to clean the streets of Detroit of unrighteous individuals? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I do. Officer Washington reporting for field training. Good, you have your body armor on. Well done. What about the rest of your gear? Service pistol? Got it. Spare ammunition? Check. Duty light? Never part with it. Good job. Preparation is the most important. So is knowing your surroundings. Are you familiar with this area? Isn't this the part of the city where it gets really busy like all the time? Police! I think that answers my question. Please! I need your help! Set the radio to my channel and follow me. Roger that! An officer needs to be confident. Straight back, sturdy walk, together with a clear and un... ...shaking voice. Officers, thank God you're here. I really need your help. What happened is... When responding to a request for aid, the first thing is to introduce yourself to the potential victim. Watch and learn. I am Officer Murphy. How do you do, madam? Well, to tell you the truth... The second thing is to reassure the victim of their safety. Madam, you do not need to be afraid anymore. We are here to help you. Yes, but it's not about me. The third thing is... I'm quite familiar with the field training manual, so if you don't mind, I'll take over. Ma'am, could you please tell us what happened? It's my cat, Fortune. He's missing. Fortune is my biggest treasure. I can't lose him. Do you have any idea where he might be? The only place I can think of is the basement. I've also heard some ruckus coming from downstairs today, but the lights aren't working and my eyesight's not so good anymore. Is it okay for us to investigate the basement? Yes, it makes an excellent opportunity for low light training. Let us proceed downstairs. Good luck down there. The cat has that name for a reason. He really brings fortune. Turn your so flashlight don't you come on. Back without him. Right. Duty light can be advantageous, but it can also be a liability. Keeping it close to you creates a clear target for the violators. It is good practice to hold the duty light away from your body. I don't remember reading that in the field manual. Did you get it from a different book? No, from experience. Clear. Clear. Hey, I think I just saw the cat. You think I should try to remove these planks? Go ahead. Wow. I didn't know I had so much strength in me. You will never know until you try. What was that?
Ah, oh, man, I walked into a mess. And now my shoes are covered in strawberry jam. When chasing a suspect, do not rush head first. Take blind corners as wide as possible. Cuts down on being surprised. Fugitive has left the trail. This time, pace yourself. Do not get out of breath during a foot pursuit. You will need stamina to engage the fugitive later. You're right. Oh, looks like he stopped by the spill paint can. Suspect might be intoxicated. I used to know these kids who gave their cat stomach medicine to make it loopy. Is there a moral to that story? Cats are susceptible to substance misuse. Shh. I heard something. I think it's coming from the piano. That cat must be hiding inside. Let me lure it out. Go ahead. There it is! It's escaping! Darn it! It went through here, but that's a very narrow passage. Let's try the door. It's locked, but I can try to squeeze through that gap. Go ahead. Okay, here I go. It's actually not as bad as I thought. Cool. Now, let me get that door open for you. Who would have thunk that being small can actually have its advantages? What was that? I'm afraid this time it's a one-way street, Mr. Cat. But where are you hiding? There he is. Oh, gosh, Fortune. You look a mess. You think he's all right? The cat is fine. You can take it back to its owner. I will clean up any remaining mess. Okay, see you soon. Loud and clear, what is your status? We got a problem. I'm on the second floor and have a visual on multiple armed suspects entering our location. 
Most of them are heading your way, but I can hear some coming up the stairs. Do not engage yet. Take your time and find the most advantageous location. Got it. Officer Washington? Sir. Keep cool. your status. I'm hit. Remain calm. I am here. That was tense. I need a breather. Officer Washington, your performance today was impressive. Thank you, sir. Means a lot coming from you. You will be fine. It is only a superficial wound. See? I've told you that cat brings luck. Isn't this just wonderful? Watch and learn, young man. Some idiot confuse a courthouse with a bank again. No, I heard one of the accused decided to defend himself, but I think he took things too literally. say that if Mills wins, we'll all get an apartment in Delta City. Screw that. I'm homeless by choice.
such a beast before. Perhaps you have a hearing problem. The lady said no. You're, you're right. That is what she said, officer. I I've got to check my hearing aid. Thank you, Robo. That guy was giving me the creeps. <laughs> You are committing an act of vandalism. Yeah, did the guy from the poster send you? Compliance with the law has no political affiliation. I have to issue a ticket. You are suppressing my right to express my opinion. I am a political martyr! If Mills wins, we'll all be homeless. Entering the fountain is strictly prohibited. But I'm not even fully in, just my feet. But you will have to pay the total value of the ticket. Oh, this is so unfair. into the fountain? Waste of money, honey. Someone will steal it before you make a wish. When Delta City's built, I hear everyone will have their own apartment. Yeah, everyone ain't gonna afford it. I'm telling you, she was looking straight at me, like I was the only man on the planet. I know. The reason I blew my paycheck.
Littering is against the law. It's an act of revenge. I was loyal and she betrayed me. Trouble in a relationship is no excuse for littering. What? I mean my boss. She fired me after all these years, so I'm spreading confidential papers. Let everyone know the fraud her company is up to. I cannot allow the law to be broken. You are just like her. waiting for you upstairs. This entrance to the building is off limits. You have to use the staircase. Do you think it's gonna hold his weight? Does it matter? The old man's waiting. So, it's true what they say. You do have some kind of defect. to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. You did exceptional work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See? I grew up in this very apartment, or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood, nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city, a new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? My purpose is to fight crime, not to make statements. No, of course not. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder, has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? The only burden it causes is to criminal scum. I admire your confidence. The real reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems, and it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? It helps me with perspective, but it also brings out things buried. That's part of the recovery process. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me. Is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease?
my fellow officers worry about OCP's intention regarding their work. Really? I'll have a word with Becker. Perhaps some new equipment would boost their morale. It would be appreciated. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. Take care of yourself. After all, the peace of Detroit depends on your well-being. Oh. Holy shit! What was that? Robocop. Not such a piece of junk after all. Hey Murphy, are you done with the old man's tea party? Remember to get back in touch with your informer. See if he has any info that could get us back on the biker's lead. Spike is still out there. OCP wants to raise towers of glass and steel? Eh, go ahead! Just not where we live. Oh, it's getting... ...so cold. Greetings. Waiting for the movie screening. Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. If you need experience that will enhance your senses, I will gladly be of assistance. I like trying new things, but let me take a rain check on that. Now, tell me. What's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it, I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So, your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gale. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. Any witnesses? Ah, uh, there's this crazy old bum who hangs out around there. He's nosy. Maybe he could help. Are you positive that he escaped on the damaged motorcycle? Not so much on it, as with it. From what I gathered, the bike suffered more than just a dent. I'm guessing he must have dragged it to some nearby mechanic to get it back in shape. I think Ben's shop is the closest. Thank you. You have given me all I need. I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. I will not be involved in any illegal activity. <laughs> That's very presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. The title slipped my mind and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? If it helps you stay out of trouble, let us proceed. Yeah, it'll solve all my problems. Let's go! What are you looking for? So there's this movie about a guy with a gun, and there's this bad guy who wants something. I'm pretty sure the title Ugh, has some biblical reference in it. You lack sequels. vital information on the Why subject. Can come up with something original? I completely agree. Okay, let's start searching. Remember, the title has something to do with the Bible. Saints, uh, cosmos, or what? Let's start by checking the thriller and drama sections. Should we ask the owner? <laughs> Forget him. He has no idea about movies. 
He thinks that Salamanca deserved the Golden Piston for the best picture. I heard that. Garden of Earthly Delights. Oh man, great movie. Very elegant. Panned by the critics though. But the director is a badass. He personally showed up to one of those ceremonies to accept the award for the worst movie of the year. We do not need to bow to outside pressure. Easier said than done, my man. Diamonds are made under great pressure. Wait. Do you think there's a diamond within me? Do you see my shine? Uh, I'm just messing with you. That was truly inspirational. But let's get back to it, because that's not our tape. Kind Shepherd? Love that one. You know, that movie could have never happened. The director threw out the script after reading a couple of pages. Thankfully, his wife picked it out of the trash, and after reading it, she forced her husband to give it another look. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do we? I'm not so sure about that. Alex Murphy was given a second chance. But he... I mean, you really deserved it. Which is something I couldn't say about a lot of people. Anyway... I don't want to spoil the mood, but that's not the tape we're looking for. Nothing in thriller or drama. Okay, how about you check in the sci-fi and action section? I'll have a look at horror. Celestial Decay. Classic. Still waiting for a sequel. But the guy who did that one has never made a part two in his career. But he said that if he ever did, he'd do a sequel to that one. Uh, how do you feel about that? Sequels, remakes, comic book adaptations, etc. They give hope that there is more. Yeah. Plus, you get to meet the characters you liked again. That's why I don't hate them. Anyway, risking to sound like a broken record, that's not the tape we're looking for. Eve's Flower. Beautiful depiction of violence in that one. Do you think violence can be beautiful? It's just shown with a different sensibility to what we're used to. Maybe because the guy's European. You know how they are. It's different. It's cool, is all I'm saying. Recognizing beauty in something ugly is a unique feature. <sighs> Doesn't pay the bills, though. Then again, I don't have bills to pay anyway. You know movies, there is value in that. Yep. There's nothing better than a good movie. But... We're still missing our tape. Hey... I think I found it. I messed up the title a little. It's called Me, Sire. But... Here it is. <sighs> Isn't that the tape we're looking for? <clears throat> tape? What? What tape? You like movies? 
Do you want to shoot an action movie? I, I think I'll wait till it comes out on VHS. Lights, camera, action! Do you need assistance? Just look who it is! First, I hear a bunch of movie puns, and then everyone starts shooting. It all happens so fast. Where is Pickles? He ran out the back door. Where will I find him? I don't know. But uh, homeless or not, you still have to give an address to get a membership card. Try the computer. Maybe you'll find something there. gonna pay for all this. Overheard some torchhead saying that they were running away from the cops and went through that video store. They had a wad of drug money on them and didn't want the cops taking it, so they hid it in one of the VHS cases. I misheard the title, so I needed help. You need much more help than that. We all got problems. I, I fucked up, I know. And I get that you're on a mission to save my life or something. With all that great advice of yours, diamonds are made under great pressure. I'm not a fucking diamond, okay? I'm a junkie. There's just one thing that I need right now. Which is? All I need right now is a fix. So, let me keep the money. You won't hear me asking about anything else. 
Are you asking a police officer to leave you with money from Nuke Distribution? I know you're a police officer first, but can't you be a friend this one fucking time? I am not doing this as a police officer. I am doing it as a friend. Hand over the case. You, you can't do this to me, man. I just did. Fuck you, Tin Man. I earned that money fair and square. Greetings, citizen. Ah, the best cop in the hood is back. How can I be of service? I am here in regards to a fugitive. Oh, damn. What is wrong with this thing? I need to get that car down, or God knows what might happen. Can you help me out with this? It's new and I don't know where I put the manual. I will use the valve. Go on, then. Let's see how it's done. I thought you knew how to bring that car down. Can't be that hard. It doesn't start. Pop the hood. So, do you know what the problem is? The coil has been disconnected. That would explain the car not starting. Spark plugs are not the main culprit. There is no power. Battery is fine, stable, above 12 volts. That's one thing, check. I detected an electric current inside the cooling tank. I recommend grounding it to fix the problem, but I am sure- I'm guessing it's an easy fix. <laughs> it started. We're on the money. Well done, Robocop. You are one serious Swiss Army man. I am best at catching criminals. I should get back to it. You said earlier you were looking for someone. A biker. Have you repaired any motorcycles recently? As a matter of fact, I did. This big, chunky guy showed up. Bald head, big ears, and spiky beard. Wasn't really warm and cuddly, but he paid cash in advance. So why would I refuse? Do you know the whereabouts of this individual? I don't, but he asked me if I do paint jobs too. Then showed me a ripped out page that had a tattoo design on it. He asked me to spray a mean looking bird onto his gas tank. Why do you think the design was intended for a tattoo? The page he handed me had other graphics, which were clearly tattoo designs. And, as far as I remember, it had the address of a tattoo parlor that's close by printed on the bottom of the page. What was the design you sprayed onto his motorcycle? It was some sort of bird, but I'm, I don't know what it's called. I'm not a botanist, but it had a bald head. Thank you for the information. Proceeding to the tattoo parlor.
full metal armor and you still want piercings. Hey, respect. I am not here for that. A tattoo then. It'll really bring out that jawline. Having a tattoo on the face is against the police code of conduct. Isn't that boring? Anyway, if you're not here for inking, what do you want? A biker called Spike. I heard he was your customer. I don't serve no bikers. Don't know who told you that, but it's a load of bull. Are you denying making tattoos for the street vultures? <laughs> You've got no proof, cop. Now stay off my case. I need to get back to my work. What next? You're gonna try to tell me that I'm smuggling nuke in a red inker? Do you? You still here? I don't want my customers... I found evidence of your connections to the biker gang. Nah, I'm not telling you nothing, cop. Spike and what is left of the street vultures are going down. It is your choice if you want to join them. Ah, fuck. I told him not to come in here when he was so hot. He brought this on himself. Where is he? Uh, he's got a place nearby somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. I am afraid this information is too vague. His motorcycle must be parked outside. It's some sort of chopper. I don't know. You can check the plate number on that photo. Wise choice for a scum artist. Ugh. I can't concentrate with all those reflections bouncing off your armor. Hey, Robocop. Mr. Mills would like to have a word. He's waiting in the car. Come on, come on! It is an honor to finally meet the hero of the city in person. It's a shame that our basketball team can't fill us with similar pride. Yeah, just lost to Atlanta. Some say it's because of a lack of team players. Do you think it's that important? Being a team player? Cooperation among police officers helps increase efficiency. And not just among police officers. I'm glad you look at it that way. As for me, I have always valued team play. That was the way things were when my parents worked for the city. My grandfather used to tell me that this neighborhood was a great place for an evening stroll. Now it's different. Kuzak allows the city to be taken over by criminals. He can't stop it because he's not a team player. He fails to realize that OCP has given this city its most precious treasure. You. I want to work with you and OCP to improve this city. I want to take care of your interests. It's about time someone did. But to make it a reality, we would need your support. So, what do you think about getting involved in politics? I stay far away from politics. However, politics does not stay away from you, does it? You are the symbol of the city. Everything you do, everything you say has a political impact no matter if you talk privately or publicly. You should choose what you want to represent. Incompetence and unaccountability or partnership and determination. Only one of these paths leads Detroit to its former glory. You say you value team play. Together, let's form a team for the good of this city. We have a common goal. Together, it will be easier to achieve it. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. We're already late for another meeting. 
Now think about what we've discussed. About what we could do for the city. Together, as a team. I count on your support. I'm so glad you're here. I can deal with screams and fights, but this music is driving me crazy. My head is, it's, it's like a hangover. Wait, maybe it is a hangover. What did Wendell make you do? <clears throat> you saw it yourself. <clears throat> he needed us to extract brains from corpses. <clears throat> Most of my men didn't have the stomach for it. Why brains? <sighs> he would never say. Wendell keeps his cards close to his chest. Where is he? When? Now? <laughs> uh, my bet would be in front of a screen, wherever that fucking signal is supposed to reach. Because he's always watching. Operator, request an ambulance. One unconscious fugitive suffering heavy blood loss.
I hate the day shift. <laughs> The new guy. He's waiting for some bigwig to show up. He's planning to do some psycho presentation. And who is the bigwig? That's what I want to find out. Mr. W, we still have no contact with the Funhouse. I'm on the phone. We're ready. I understand, but please tell him that this is not a meeting that can be postponed. I see. So. They ain't coming, right? Fucking suits! Keep your anger to yourself, or I'll share mine with you. Robo? Who's there? Show yourself! You'd better not. As you wish, creep. You are under arrest. Come quietly. Do you really believe that's what's gonna happen? Take care of him, boys. I'll meet you on the roof. What's up, metal freak? Forget where you left your car? You better go, Miss Ortiz. It seems there will be trouble. Is that you? Come to us. Yeah, Dad, we're waiting for you!
Dad? Are you coming? Dad? Dad, are you here? I'm scared. Come find me, please. Why won't you come for me, Dad? Don't leave me, please! Don't leave me alone! Special offers at Juneberry Mall. Now a free gift for engaged couples. Goldfinch jewelry has a discount on wedding rings. Choose something special. It's a symbol of your love and something for her to remember you by after you decided to get yourself killed and leave your family all alone, Alex Murphy. Don't hesitate. Come and take advantage of our offer. Is that, Is that you? You, you, you look, look different. different. You're scaring me. I, I don't I like how scary, scary you are now. It's, it's not, not your, your dad, dad kid. kid. It's, it's not, not even a police, police officer. officer. I, don't I don't know, know what, what it is anymore. anymore. The remains of my husband, a police, a police officer, officer killed in the line of duty, were used to create some kind of a metal monster. I need to bury it to move forward with my life. Do you have a funeral suit that would fit that empty shell? Is a world-class husband, a father, a cop. Did you hear? It's true. You're not one of us anymore. You're not human. And you're not a real cop. You're just the rotting remains of Alex Murphy. You're something that should never have been. Something that should not exist. We have to fix you. We have to erase you. And we will. Just come to us. Come to the rooftop. We're waiting.
It's not one of us. It doesn't even have a badge. It's the craft that is stuck to our shield. A cuckoo egg planted by OCP. We need to clear our station of this shit. We must smash that thing. Fire at will. <laughs> You're not one of us. You feel that too, Melt the don't freak. you? You're back. There's coffee in the kitchen. Do you like it? The mug. Dad? Can you, Dad, can you fix, fix the, the camera? camera? I, think I think something's, something's broken. broken. Hey, you, you fixed, fixed it! it. Remember, Remember I'm playing, playing a game this afternoon? Dad, Dad wouldn't miss it, would he? Pick me up at the station, I'll grab my gear. Do you really have to go? You look so sexy in that uniform. Why won't you stay a little longer? <sighs> Why are you here? Do you not love your family? No attachments. No leverage. This is a gift. Don't take him away from me! Everyone wants to be back home with their families. Be back home. Welcome, Welcome Chopper. Let's, Let's take, take a, stroll a stroll through, through your, your old home. home. Do you, you think, think you can just go on with your life like nothing happened? This is a one-family house built by ZM Industries. It failed because the head of the family to which it belonged was shot in the head. Your family has forgotten you. Why do you want to remember that? You attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Have you thought it over? Why not make me an offer? Why carry this burden? What is your sacrifice worth? Holding on to them makes you weak. Destroy them. Destroy them before they destroy you. Alex Murphy, the one and the only. I'm here because you have something that belongs to me. You have my badge. Lewis gave it to me. Lewis is hurt because of you. Because you keep insisting that you're something that you're not. You think that you are a fusion of me in this metal armor, but you're not me. Not even a part of me. I'm dead and I want to finally rest, but you won't let me. Your delusions keep tormenting me and my family. You need to let us go. I want my badge back. I have it. So I remember. Remember what? The lie? Lewis knows us. She would not lie. Give it to me. It's mine. But, Lewis, I want it back. This is my badge. Then I'll have to take it back myself. You are strong, strong enough, enough to take, take him. him. Don't, Don't forget, forget you have, have a partner, partner who's counting on you. Take, take this, this gift. gift. Don't, Don't forget, forget who you are. are. Alex, Alex Murphy. Murphy. Get up, Robo. 
Get up, for God's sake! That's it, Robo. Keep going. Where's the chopper? The cops will be here any... Wendell Antonowski. Haven't you had enough yet? You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Relax. <laughs> I I'm not your enemy. If I were, you would have already... You have the right to an attorney. I... I wanted to help you. Release you from the burden of your past life, of your memories. But you, you don't want to lose them, right? Now I get it. Anything you say may be used against you. I can give you back those memories. All of them. We should help each other. We have the same boss! Police! God damn it, you again? People need to see this. Cuff him. He is a cop killer. Hands behind your back! Can you hand me my lighter? It's a family heirloom. I wouldn't want to lose it. You mean this trinket? It'll be safer in the prison depository. You'll pick it up yourself in... I don't know. 150 years? Plenty of time for rehabilitation. Top story. Wendell Antonowski, the infamous new guy in town, has been apprehended today. Robocop was able to capture Antonowski, as reported by an eyewitness, Channel 9 Samantha Ortiz. Unfortunately, no footage of the event has emerged. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public debate regarding his status as a human being. Here's a statement from John Mills, a candidate for the mayor's office in the upcoming mayoral election. Today, Robocop has done more for this city than the current administration has done in its entire term. That's why I feel that it's time to give something back. If elected, I will be advocating to grant Robocop the status of a free, living human being. That's right. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Staying on the topic of OCP, the CEO of Omni Consumer Products suffered a heart attack earlier today. The self-made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Memorial Hospital for observation. His condition is stable. We wish you a speedy recovery. Wendell's in prison and the old man is on his way out? Could this day be any better? Geez, Steph, don't you have any respect? Here's the man of the hour. Congrats, Robo. You caught that bastard for what he did to Lewis. We are not done yet. Murphy, come talk to me after you're done with your evaluation. I knew he'd get him. I just knew he'd be the one to bust that asshole. Glad we have Murphy on our team. Are you that the TV personality I keep seeing on television? Something not many people know about me. I used to be a car mechanic before I landed this job. Is that supposed to put us at ease, Morgan? Congratulations on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? It is no one else's business. Understandable. But the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want?
That is not something a machine needs. So that's how you view yourself in this context. The idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue. But no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might not be aware of that, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the Slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? I do not know. Don't worry. You're not alone on this. I am here to help you figure it out. Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation, similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, sounds, or smells. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Corrupted visions of my past. I think we're onto something. Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. Hey, Robo, could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you. If it happens, I'm definitely getting sacked. I've got a degree in robotics, not in human relations. Sometimes I'm surprised you've got a high school diploma. Hey. I'd recognize those footsteps anywhere. What did you do this time? Uh, why does it have to be that I did something? Maybe one of your guys just got a little overeager. Did they? No. But none of this matters. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. We? We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the... They lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell was conducting suspicious activity for someone at OCP. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. Talk to you later. Partner. I do. Murphy. In Still the not house. used to working with one hand. You'll eventually forget about being shot the first time. <laughs> yeah? When? When you get shot the second time. What? I got a half a dozen door to doors.
Catching Antonowski put a smile on a lot of people's faces, but we still have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. And when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. Do you suspect that Becker is on Windows payroll? All signs point to him. They do, don't they? And that leads me to another thing. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about it? Can you trust him? Despite shortcomings, he is trying his best. That makes me a little less anxious about signing him up to look after you. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington. And let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... Is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? This process takes time. Like most things that are worthwhile. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. Officer Washington! Yes, sir. You've got a new assignment. I'm ready and willing. Yeah, there's a... Did you watch the game yesterday? I don't know what's wrong with our team. What losers. I wanted to throw the TV out the window, but it was too heavy. I pulled a hamstring because of that. Wait, why are you asking me about my liver and kidneys? They shot me in the leg. We can She's waiting for you, Murphy. And additional benefits if you decide to sell. Just get the bullet out and let me... Come on, give me the skinny. I want to know everything. Ah, oh, Murphy, we started the party a little early. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, partner. It's my fault. I just got to hear what's happening at the precinct. In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on, this is time to celebrate. Lewis is feeling better, Wendell's in jail. Let's party! If you don't think a strike is brewing... You know what? Let me get this grouch out of here so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. Feel better, Lewis. You look well. I gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. But what about you? How have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? I still see things. You know, ever since Antonowski showed up, they seem to be happening more often. 
and with greater intensity. I don't think I've ever seen you in such a state. I just know how it affects me. So I can't imagine how it affects you. The fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who... shot you. We should not let the past haunt us. Easier said than done. His presence reminds me of the day that I... that I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. Neither of us could have predicted the consequence of our actions. That doesn't make me feel any less guilty. What I don't get is if Wendell is actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now? After all this time? And why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? That is what I intend to find out. Right. Is it true that he's working with someone from OCP? That is what he claims. Damn Becker. We should just lock him up already. We do not have proof. Not yet. I don't know if you heard, but the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even sure if he's in a state to talk, but it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Anyway, I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. Thank you for visiting me. We'll be back to working together in no time. I look forward to it. Did you hear? We're moving the old man to a private clinic in 20 minutes. Good. I don't think I can last a minute longer in this stench. Hey, where do you think you're going? To talk to the old man. You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. Does he? Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. You can go in. with every drop of my sweat. I always try to improve people's lives. I was good to them. Just like you told me, Mother. Michael, is that you? Your halo shines so bright. Someone in OCP was supporting Wendell's operations. I want to know who. Robocop? Oh God. I'm getting close to my final days. And I just can't stand this uncertainty. But you came back from the other side. Tell me, how was it? Was it unbearable? It was like waking up from a long nap. A new man. I hoped that would be the case. I believe that death isn't the end. You are walking proof of that. Unfortunately, I have not completed all I set out to do. All saboteurs inside OCP won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you, but also my company. Be wary of him. I know you would never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. <sighs> Before you go, could you be so kind? And give me some painkillers. I am not qualified to administer medication. Please. Anyone help me? God! I need my painkillers. How much longer do I have to stand this? 
Not much longer. The helicopter is on its way, sir. Why the long face, I'll Robo? They'll pump him full of OCP's cocktails, and come Monday morning, he'll be back to signing deals if nothing happened. I don't allow you to treat me like this. I am the mayor of this city. Robocop, you have to intervene. Is there a problem? This man is preventing me from exposing OCP's hypocrisy. The way this hospital treats its patients is the best depiction of what OCP wants to do with this city. A brave policewoman shot in the line of duty is crammed into a small room while the old man has a cozy VIP wing of the hospital all to himself. This is what Delta City stands for, even bigger division. But the time you had your tonsils removed, you were staying in the VIP wing, too. We're not talking about me. We need to talk about the people. Robocop, please stop this madness. Make a statement. That policewoman is your partner, isn't she? So tell us, doesn't she deserve better? A hospital is not an appropriate place for political scuffles. Just what I expected from an OCP robot. They want to ruin this city. They want to take it away from the citizens, but I won't let them. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Okay, guys, we're leaving. We should find him a cozy, secluded, preferably padded room. Seek answers. You came. So you can follow a command. Surprising. Surrender, or there will be trouble. Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop. Meet the future of law enforcement. Power like yours, but at the push of a button. That is why it is not only more effective than you, but infinitely more obedient. That's just a fragment of the speech I had prepared. But hell, this product speaks for itself. What's the status? This is no appreciation party. Gunshots? What's going on? Becker has introduced you to new robots. QEDs? They already functional? Mr. Becker bragged about them during my onboarding. I'll try to find something that could help. Just give me a sec. in front of the OCP board. I'm looking at the footage now. Let us see if they ever got around to fixing it. Warm-up is over. Get ready for the real strike.
just happened Becker oh just stop right there great performance Robocop and mr. Becker it was an excellent presentation you promised to show me a reliable remedy for this crime wave and you really did yes I've been working on UEDs for the past five I'm in Robocop He's proved once again that he's still the top player. Excuse me? It just barged in here and started accusing me of conspiracy without a shred of proof. It is not stable. I have Wendell's confession. Oh, do you mean the guy that's been harvesting human organs? <laughs> Very reliable source. You keep forgetting that your organic components are the bane of my entire existence. They complicate things. I need a simple tool. A tool that I can control. And until this remote is in my hands, I have that... Oh! Well, it's uh, time for me to go. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for your presentation. I'll be watching the progress of your project. But until then, keep up the excellent work, RoboCop.
And you better keep an eye on that remote. That should do it. What's going on over there? Becker's here, and the cops are not happy. Becker tested an army of robots on Robocop. Can you believe that? That is so unethical to conduct an experiment without our supervision. Right. to accept it. My robots are here to stay. Detroit will become the first city policed entirely by my machines. No brains, no glitching, total control. So that's it? You just gonna replace us? You've already been replaced, honey. Can't you see it? What are you talking about? Murphy's one of us. You're a little confused. That's Robocop you're talking about. Murphy's the guy who's legally dead. That's it. We are going on strike. We are cops. Cops do not go on strike. That's the spirit, old-timer. I have important people to meet, multi-million dollar contracts to sign. You know, the usual. Well, that sucks. We can't just sit here and do nothing. You can do something. Your cruiser needs cleaning after your last shift. If you have a hard time finding something to do, come to me. That goes for the rest of you, too. Murphy, briefing room, now! Thirteen dead, after the celebration of Guatemalan Independence Day. The authorities explained mistook the intense outburst First of, of all, I don't want to hear a word about those it's damn robots. We have a job to do. Now that the milk is spilled, we are looking for a mole in OCP that's been protecting Antonowski. As hard as it is to believe, Becker is not that guy. Yeah, but he's still a prick. Sure is, but there's still a mole that we need to find. It's gotta be the rookie. I'm sitting right here. So? We start by asking the source. What are you suggesting? I pay Wendell a visit in jail. Good thinking. You can try to squeeze a confession out of him. If I get my hands on him, I will squeeze more than just a confession. Hey Murphy! That news lady's in the lobby waiting to talk to you. Robo, do you have a minute? Listen, I wanted to say that I misjudged you. My crusade is against OCP. You were just collateral. So to extend an olive branch, I'd, I'd like to give you this. What is it? It's the tape of you glitching the other day at the mall. It's the only copy, so you can do whatever you want with it. I am sure your TV station would love to play the tape. Yeah, that's why you need to take it before I change my mind. Thank you. Now that I have you here, can I interview you as a consolation prize? They want me to ask you about the election. Seems that people value your opinion. I would be happy to oblige. Okay, roll the tape. 
I'm here at Metro West conducting an interview with a man that needs no introduction. Robocop. One of the more contentious points brought up during the election is the construction of Delta City. Many believe that Delta City will destroy old Detroit. Mayor Kuzak spoke at length about the illegal evictions that OCP has been planning in order to start the construction. Other candidates, namely John Mills, believe that Delta City is a chance to clean up the city. What are your thoughts on this subject? Is Delta City the future of old Detroit? I would focus on current Detroit. Thank you for clarifying your stance on this important topic. This has been Robocop for Channel 9. Samantha Ortez, signing off. Thanks for the interview, Robo. We'll get out of your hair as soon as we're done packing up the equipment. I saw Becker tear the rookie a new one for what he did at that factory. I wouldn't be surprised if he's already hey, sh Oh, she is doing real good. She had that fire in her eyes. You know what I'm talking about. I'm really glad to hear that. And I can tell someone was missing her a bit more than the rest of us. Hey, it's not like that, Ramirez. It's not funny, you know? Keep that metal fuck running. What a waste of electricity. I mean, he did catch you. You too, fucker. Robo, the prisoner's waiting in the visiting room. Oh, gonna have to strip search you. Belt, keys, loose change, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. Just keep walking. I don't think that was funny. Good to meet you, Robocop. The visiting room is at the end of the corridor. Good to see you in my prison, Robo. Did the inmates at the entrance welcome you properly? I felt at home, almost. I'm glad you're here. I want to ask you about the man you're here to see. The only thing I know is that he's no ordinary prisoner. OCP are keeping his record secret. So who is he? He is a criminal awaiting his trial. But I need to know who I'm dealing with. He's a demanding individual. There used to be peace in my prison. But now they're rabid dogs. He turned all the gangs against each other. So either OCP doesn't know who they're dealing with, or there's something fishy going on. I suspect OCP knows more than they are telling. I'm here to verify that. Ah, uh, good. Come see me after your interview. I have a humble gift for you and your police friends for keeping my business alive. OCP 
wants you. But Becker is not your inside man. Who is? You're not going to ask me how I'm settling in. Answer me. Places like this do me good. I even quit smoking, you know? The trick is to keep your hands busy. The best way to keep my hands busy is to hand me a criminal. Oh, so much anger. I know where it's coming from. Alex Murphy. You didn't expect to hear that name from me, did you? I used to think that erasing the memories of your past life would help you the way it helped me. Oh, but I was wrong. And I want to make it up to you by giving you that life back. I have already been restored one time too many. You have been restored inappropriately, without a family, without the chance to play baseball with your son whenever you feel like it. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. Is that why you needed all those dead bodies? I could tell you more if you promise not to stick your nose in. I want details of the project and the names of those involved. Seems our time is up. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty-handed. So let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Tread carefully. It's the last chance for you and your family to be together again. We have to take the prisoner back to his cell. Looks like a full-blown riot is going down. Whatever is going on, this slime is involved. Could be, but now we have to focus on the other prisoners. They're armed and storming the warden's office. We need your help. Robo? I will turn them to the path of reform. Heavy weapons like fucking hot dogs at a football game.
Hey! Don't shoot! I'm unarmed! And now, anatomy corner. What does the heart of a snitch bitch look like? Is it rotten? Is it black or stony? Come to the kitchen and check yourself. We got a good supply of snitches needing to be... Is that you? You better do something to get us out of here! Man, we're fucking freezing! We're in no hurry. Stupid guards. Hey, Tid Man. Are you working in prison now? And tell your fellow guards they ain't getting our help no more.
Robocop, I owe you. We have to stop these creeps from taking over the prison. You bet we do. Wendell has to be behind this. I need to find him. I knew he was up to something. His cell is in Block B. And Robocop, give him my regards. I will give him much more than that. Call me on the radio if you need me. Sir. Block A is clean. Good. Let's keep it that way. Oh, that's the gift I was talking about. We started a baking class for the inmates, and I must say I've been enjoying it myself. Shame it'll go to waste. what I expected of my first We need to seal off this area. If you go further, you won't be able to turn back. So, do you want to proceed? I am ready to proceed. Okay then, good luck. Glad you're here, Robocop. I think I saw someone, someone from the outside. Those couldn't have been prisoners. They were armed to the teeth. Remember my promise? I've got a wife and kids, please. I promised you that one day I'd blow your head off. I'm not fighting! Keep me quiet. Affirmative. Robocop is still at the facility. There's no threat. Robocop. New arrivals. I saw them. I got him! They must be the ones who released the prisoners. The riots are a smokescreen for Wendell. They're heading for his cell. I am on my way there now. I'm not an enemy! I'm not with them. I'm waiting for the guards.
He's gonna kill me! Just give me the gun, scum. You'll be fine. What is the situation? That, that, that guy takes bribes from prisoners and wants to blow my head off because I snitched on him. Oh, bullshit. This lowlife garbage is hiding a gun. I just want to disarm him and cuff him. If you let him cuff me, he'll kill me! Just let me go! I know where the other guards are! I'll head there right away! Let him go. You're making a mistake. See ya! Drop it! If only I'd been a second... I asked her. Damn machine!
Wendell's cell is empty. Intruders beat me to it. Robo, I'm just getting a signal that the hostiles were spotted moving towards the property store. Wendell included. I will meet them there. Disturb me. I have laundry to do. You are not safe here. No, I can't lose this job. It's the only thing that's keeping me sane. Besides, I've got orders. You are in emotional shock. You should report to the guards and get professional assistance. I've already lost one job because of you. I won't let you do it again. Get lost.
even just think. Would I end up in jail if I did? Just let me go, please. I... Can't handle this much stress. <laughs> it upsets my ulcers. Robocop? Robocop! Look what they did to me! All because I snitched on soot for you! Help! <laughs> Quick, before someone throws the switch! Good, good. Not such a can-headed piece of shit after all. Uh, that's what the other inmates call you, but I, I don't. <laughs> Not anymore, at least. <laughs> Thank you.
What is the situation here? The guy's got a ticket for the mercy seat in a month, but he was shot, and it looks like justice will get him sooner. <laughs> That's no reason to leave me here to die! I can't take him with me, and I'm not gonna stay here. Justice can only be served by executing court orders. You're more human than this fucking jailer!
Last week I finished organizing the stuff down here with a brand new system. And today, those fuckers showed up and messed everything up. Where did they go? To the parking lot. You have to bust them. I'll be cleaning this shit up until retirement. The scum's over there, hiding behind his bodyguards. You need to smoke him out.
Can't you get it through that thick skull of yours? You're supposed to stay away from my business if you want to get your past life back. How about we save part of that life right now? I sent some guns to the hospital to rectify my mistake and finish the job with your friend Lewis. But it was before we talked. I would have called off the hit, but I had to take care of you and your fellow guards. So, I guess it's over to you. And you better hurry. at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I need assistance. Possible hostiles in the vicinity. I'm all right, Murphy. I'm all right. Oh, thank God you're safe. We've missed you, officer. How are you feeling? A little banged up, but I've certainly been worse. That Wendell guy needs to pay for what he did. And he will. But when? How many more innocent people have to get shot before that happens? OCP doesn't have our back. We know that Wendell's working for him. You know what we should do? Don't even say it! We should go on strike. Yeah! Sergeant, how can we go out on the streets knowing that the people who hire us are working against us? Don't forget about the robots. 
We will discuss this further, but first, Murphy, it's time for your evaluation. I'll be catching up on what's been going on, partner. Oh my god, Lewis is back. Hey, Steph, how's my hair? Looks like an elephant took a dump on an ostrich egg. Robocop, please, have a seat. That's it from me. Where is Dr. Blanche? I am supposed to undergo an evaluation. Oh, right. She called. Said that she wouldn't be able to make it today. Actually, she wanted you to call her. She seemed distressed. Antonowski escapes from a high-security prison. Now the cops are thinking about going on strike. What happens if some dangerous criminal breaks out from the cells downstairs? Pray that Robocop is around. Dr. Blanche. Thank you for returning my call. I, I don't know what to do, who to trust. What seems to be the problem? My research that I was conducting on you, it's gone. All the data that I collected is missing from the precinct. If someone felt comfortable stealing my computer, they may come after me once they realize that most of my records are on paper. OCP has been adamant about me keeping all the records on my computer, but I don't trust technology, and I don't trust OCP. I keep most of my records with me in my notebook. I don't know who to turn to, except you. Where are you now? Home. You are not safe there. Meet me at the Star Motel. Yes, I know the place. I'll meet you there. Thank you. Sir, can you please calm down? I'm a respectable citizen. I won't be treated like this. Murphy, you busy? This guy's really a handful. Do you mind taking over? Hey, don't talk about me like I'm some kind of problem. The real problem is that one of you ignored my call for help. Sir, none of our dispatchers would do such a thing as receive a call and not act upon it. So maybe the next thing you're gonna tell me is that I wrecked my own fish shop. Plenty of people attempt insurance fraud. How dare you? My family has been serving that neighborhood for generations. You should know that I have many offers to buy out of the shop. But I would never sell out to OCP, unlike you lot. 
I need to speak eye to eye with the man who ignored my call this afternoon. Just a moment, sir. Murphy, I think it's your new buddy who's been on dispatch duty today. Could you check this matter with him? Something's going down in the locker room. Let's check it out. It was you sitting on your ass in dispatch when my cousin called the police. He got shot because no officer showed up. It appears there's a technical problem. I reported it to OCP. You see? He said it himself. That little snitch reports everything to OCP to undermine our efforts. That's not right. I answer all... Yes, it's not right, and you'll answer for that. Put him up. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight you. We're police officers. No, you got that all wrong. You never were and never will be part of this team, because you're not a real cop. You may fool some of us, but I can smell a rat a mile away. Attacking a fellow officer is a violation of the law. I will not allow it. Of course you won't. You're both OCP's puppets covering for each other. This is bullshit! Come on, Steph. Let's just go. Whatever, man. Your stress level appears to be high. I recommend using a health pack. I'm guessing you're not here just to check my vitals. Can I help? There has been a complaint about police ignoring calls. You mean other than this one? I had a feeling something was wrong with the switchboard. Can you meet me in the dispatch room? I want to show you what I mean. I think the problem started when OCP brought new equipment in. I mentioned to the technicians that I thought something was wrong with this switchboard, but they said not to fuss, as this stuff is top of the line. Maybe you could have a look at it? Found something? This cable looks out of place. I will see where it leads. Police, what's the emergency? Hello? I just called, and I believe someone hung up on... Okay, just remain calm. Officers are on their way and will be with you shortly. I haven't even finished my last sentence, and you... Thank you for contacting the police. Stay safe. So, any luck finding what's wrong with it? The switchboard has been tampered with. Calls are being patched through to a concealed answering machine. That's seriously messed up. But it's definitely not all the calls. I've been receiving a pretty decent share of them. But have a look at this. I marked the map with all the calls I've answered this week. One entire district seems to be completely empty. Yeah, and it's that rundown neighborhood. We need to find out what's going on over there. An opportunity presented itself. There is a victim from there awaiting an apology. Okay, let me take care of that. I'll tell you what I find once I'm done. I can't undo the injustice you suffered, but I want to make it right. I'd like to start by visiting your store. Maybe I could take your statement there so I don't keep you here any longer. Finally, someone who's hearing me out. I want to see you by the end of the day. Otherwise, this matter goes straight to Mayor Kuzak. Once I finish my dispatch duty, I'll come right over. Good. Good. I can take my leave now. 
It's the perfect opportunity to check out the area and learn what the locals know, don't you think? I agree. If you're not busy with your other duties, maybe you could join me there? Murphy, you're here. Let's start with what you found out at that prison. I will show you somewhere private. I think I've got the place. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty-handed. So let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Afterlife? So someone in OCP is working with Wendell on another big project? If not Becker, then who? Sorry to disappoint you all, you ungrateful fucks. You didn't think I'd find you here, did you? Since I'm already here, entertain me. If I'm no longer your suspect, then who is? I mean, we're all thinking it, so I might as well say it. What if it's the old man? Ha! <laughs> You've got some balls to even mention something like that. Nevertheless, good luck. Even if it's true, he's untouchable. Unlike you, I've got some work to do. Final preparations before the expo. So wish me luck. Good luck. <sighs> Becker's right. We can't just go on accusing people without proof. What else is there? Seems that Wendell found himself another gang to work for him. What do we know about them? Guns for hire. He's paying a lot for their services. They're supposed to be very computer savvy, real high-tech shit. Dr. Blanche mentioned her computer was hacked. Then I think we found ourselves a new lead. Murphy, I want you to pursue this. I will pay Dr. Blanche a visit. All right, everyone dismissed. Can't wait to go back out there, partner. You're not going anywhere. But, Sarge! I need you here. That's the end of the discussion. Murphy! Mayor Cusack wants to talk to you. He's waiting in Reed's office. Called. I did, Frankenstein. I hate to sound like a broken record, but the election is days away. The future of this city is at risk. That's why I wanted to be blunt with you. I want your support. Just tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it. Is it money? Do you want me to pay you? I will remind you, Mr. Mayor, that bribing voters is illegal. But if that's what it takes, you know as well as I that we can't have OCP rule this city. I may have overheard that there are some serious accusations pointed at the old man himself. What more do you need to know to support me? I will think about it. Sure. Take your time, but not too much time. The election is in two days. We're killing ourselves to put those bastards behind bars, and the next thing you know, they're back on the streets. Why even bother? Don't get yourself down. Nothing really changes. We're still gonna be chasing after the bad guys. Now that Becker has his robots, do you really think so? You better stop being so naive.
on your way to see Dr. Blanche? Yes. Let us hope I will not be slowed down by another cheering crowd. So, the preparations for the election are in full swing, huh? Fortunately, I am just by the hotel. Good. Keep me posted. Murphy, good to see you. Multiple armed suspects have taken over the store. We gotta be careful. They got the owner inside. I am going in. You need backup. Remember your field training, Officer Washington. I won't let you down. You guys go ahead. I'll secure the perimeter. It's the maze poster. Maybe he actually knows him. Let's get him! Well, Murphy, you're something else. You really know your stuff. Get him! Say. Little fish! All the fish are gonna go bad! Oh, quit your whining, Pops. It's not like anyone can smell the difference. Open the door and come out with your hands up. Oh shit, that's Robocop! Listen! You and your friends got it all wrong. You're not supposed to be here, pal. OCP doesn't button to this hood's business. And you're police on OCP's money, so you better scram if you don't want trouble. Perhaps I want trouble. <laughs> you don't know who you're messing with, you stupid toaster. I I've got a hostage here, and I'll blow his fucking brains out if you try anything stupid. Break the door. He's reloading. Who's that? There ain't an ounce of respect in those perps. There's nothing sacred to OCP. But I was wrong about you. You 
definitely more human than any of them OCP hyenas. <sighs> that was intense. Good job, Officer Washington. Thank you, Robo. Hey, Washington. That sounded like a proper gunfight. So how come you're still in one piece? I had a partner who had my back. Keep it up and I might just change my mind about you. I'll wrap this up, Robo. You can head back to the precinct. Drinking in a public place is against the law. I'm not drinking. I'm drunk already. And I am home. There is an open bottle of liquor by your side. I have to issue a ticket. Sure. Send the ticket to the third park bench at the promenade. You're back already, Grumpy? With all those colorful flags and balloons, any other cat would be in seventh heaven. Me. You're way too early. The bachelorette party starts at eight. I am here to meet with Olivia Blanche. What room is she in? This is a by-the-hour hotel. People don't usually give names. Dr. Blanche is in her fifties, bright long hair, possibly tied into a ponytail. I gotcha. It's that classy lady. She's staying in room 405. Thank you, citizen. So, you aren't the real Robocop? 
Listen, if your mature lady won't be able to satisfy you, I'm sure I'll find someone younger that would be happy to help. It's you. Thank you for coming over. Do you really think I'm in danger? Not as long as I am here. Tell me what happened again. Someone stole my work computer from the precinct. But the only thing of value are my research notes. Your evaluation especially. Does anyone else know about your research? OCP requested confidentiality, so they're the only ones who know about it. You don't think the old man has anything to do with it, do you? Did you notice anyone suspicious at the crime scene? No. But after a recent hacking attempt, Engineer Morgan fitted my work computer with a tracking device. You could download its last coordinates from my private computer. It's right there on the desk. Maybe this will help you find the culprit. I will find them, and they will pay. Actually, even if those thieves were after my research, they'd be disappointed. I keep most of my notes on paper, including my conclusion. I know the whole process wasn't easy for either of us, but I'm sure you felt there was progress. How do you feel about doing the final session now? I promised to adhere to our working relationship. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You agreed to a non-compulsory evaluation. Does that mean you felt our sessions are helpful? Yes. A lot has changed since we started. Do you remember how you perceived yourself back then? I was struggling to comprehend my own existence. That is correct. But since then, did you have a change of heart? How do you consider yourself now? I like to think of myself as a person. I am glad to know you can finally see this. Through our time together, I've learned a lot about you. And one thing I know for sure is that you're not some kind of soulless OCP robot. Why do you think so? Could a machine create a real bond of friendship such as you and Officer Lewis have? Do you think a machine could teach a newly appointed officer what it means to be a real policeman? Or solicit for good arrangements for his fellow officers? What an actual person glitch. We should make a clear distinction. These so-called glitches are your memories. It seems to me that they manifest themselves in unusual ways because they are trying to get through a mechanical barrier. But as memories and the past make up everyone's personality, those memories make you who you are as well. This is what makes you different from a machine. You should not fear them, but embrace them. But there is also the other kind. And that worries me. But the malfunctions you're referring to seem to be strictly technological. I'm afraid someone is using your mechanical side to mess with your psyche. They would be more successful if it wasn't for your human side. And no wonder. It's probably your strong will that allowed you to bear the extraordinary burdens and it's also what's been protecting you from totally malfunctioning. I don't know a single person who could endure that. So if this evaluation was to determine whether you're human or not, my answer is, you're not just a human, but an exceptional one, Alex Murphy. Don't you ever forget that, unless you want to have me on your case again. I will try. Thank you, Doctor. Use my computer to download the coordinates of the tracking device. It's right there on the desk.
I have the coordinates. Hello, Dr. Blanche. I got a special delivery for you. But I haven't ordered anything. I only need your signature. Can you please open the door? to move. Lewis, there was an attempt on Dr. Blanche's life. Is she okay? Yes, but she will need an escort. Roger that. I'm on my way. Concentrate on the positive, Olivia. This heat is just too much. We must keep going.
power's dying out. There's someone's footsteps upstairs. I will make a way. Thank God. But what should we do now? My partner is going to take you to someplace safe. I will find the guilty party using your computer's coordinates. I'm finally starting to understand. The shooting, the blood, seeing it firsthand, it puts everything into perspective. What I think I'm trying to say is, thank you. My duty, madam. So what now, Murphy? I will follow the signal to track the doctor's computer. You will keep her safe. Safe from what exactly? Who were those guys? Mercenaries on Wendell's payroll. The same ones that paid me a visit at the hospital? <laughs> Wendell should be grateful. You keep reducing his overhead. I am expecting a huge payoff. I hear that. What a surprise. Not everyone in this city would return a wallet. I'd be letting my father down if I didn't, sir. Your father must be proud of you. Okay, Murphy. So where are you headed now? I am following the signal from the doctor's computer. That's handy. You're gonna keep me posted if you find anything, won't you? Affirmative. Murphy, out. I hate when you do that. Loose out. 
Your arguments against voting are baseless. As residents of this city, you have an obligation. Get lost, kiddo. I don't want them to unsuspend my sentence for beating up a snot like you. Need some rubble? No, but it might be covering something that I am looking for. It will be like searching for a needle in a haystack unless you have some kind of x-ray vision. Any joy? I need to see what is underneath. Then you'll have to wait. There'll be a truck to move it in an hour or two. It's not like you can move the whole thing anyway. You're not a finicking train, are you? <laughs> I am much more than that. Shit! You're like a freaking bulldozer! Is that what you were looking for? A manhole cover? I need to get underground. Well, not through there, you ain't. If the sewers are what you're after, then you should use the entrance behind the mark. Just under the overpass. Thank you, citizen. Respectable citizen on their way to the sewers. Is there a party going on down there? Some of them ain't come back. Let's hope it's not an alien party. Just make sure you don't drink anything at night. Lewis, tracker coordinates lead me to the sewers. I am entering now. I can't hear you very well. It must be bad signal. I've taken Dr. Blanche to the safe house. Lewis, you are breaking up. Watch your step. This might get dangerous. Make sure to contact if back up. Stay safe. Target. 
Frag incoming! Seem to get hold of him. Lewis, can you read me? Loud and clear. Are you out of the sewers already? No, I found a signal booster. A signal booster underground? The entire OCP communication network runs down here. It looks like the mercenaries were tampering with it. I wonder what they were up to. Whatever they were planning, I am going to stop them.
Don't kill me! Do not be afraid. I am a police officer. I had this nasty dream that I was a homeless guy living in the sewers. Oh, wait.
Lewis, I found the computer. What did they need it for? Retrieving and processing data for my evaluation. Where was the data going? OCP's mainframe computer. To access it, you need staff credentials, and they have been using Wendell's. You're saying that OCP has Wendell on their payroll? The old man is the one who signed his contract. That son of a bitch! I knew he was behind all this. Can you send us over that data? I'm uploading it as we speak. I'll make sure Reed sees it ASAP, so we can get you a warrant for the OCP headquarters. I am heading to OCP headquarters now. like to prevent them. Medical errors happen. According to one study, they are the number one killer among all demographics. Hey, Robo, could you help us? We're in quite a pickle. We have here a dead campaign manager from Mills's office. This case is urgent, but we can't get inside the vehicle to examine the corpse. For some reason, the car is electrified. Now that everyone's on strike, there's no one to take care of it, and I don't want to end up like a well-done steak. I am glad to be of help. And if you can look around for clues afterwards, you know, uh, you never can tell with the electricity. Bulbs are burnt out. Something must have caused a short circuit. I assume a failure of the Magnavolt system. I will look into it. And if it wasn't for that, we'd have probably found the car on bricks and him and just his boxers. I wouldn't be so optimistic. The current flowing through the body of the car is 2,000 amps. Magnavolt is deactivated. It is now safe to investigate the car. Ah, great. But uh, if you could take a look inside, uh, just in case. Gladly. The deceased is holding the phone. The last number dial is described as the office. Was he calling his own office during the murder? There is an earring on the front seat. Could be helpful if we find out who it belongs to. The victim was strangled. The rope was tied with a sailor's knot. Not everyone can tie something like that. The phone, the earring, and a sailor's knot. That's something to go on. And the place itself is interesting. Less than a hundred yards from the victim's office. I wonder why he stopped here. I will go to the office to see if the victim left a message. It's near the cinema on the third floor. We need to finish here before we can join you. Were there any witnesses? There's that homeless guy across the street. He warned us about the current. He probably tried to steal something from the car. But it's hard to get anything out of him. His hand is fried, but he says he doesn't want an ambulance. Says he can't afford it. Why would OCP get involved in this case? Not following politics, huh? The guy was Mill's campaign manager. 
OCP will do anything to get Mills elected. Yeah, if everyone hadn't been on strike, they would have brought the whole station down here. Why did you not join the strike? I owe Reed a favor. And you're too close to retirement to risk it. But there's nothing keeping you here, Officer O'Neill, apart from making my life less bearable. Well, somebody's gotta watch your clumsy ass. I will let you know if I find anything in that office. We'll meet you there, and maybe we'll grab a burger on the way. Not on my watch. Hey, I thought we were partners. long-awaited execution of the war criminal Ernesto de la Diego ended in failure Ugh, the military supporters on, Red please. Rat staged a bloody Damn protest. Ernesto was acquitted to prevent further bloodshed. May I help you, officer? I want to speak with someone from Simon Page's office. Oh, then you're in the right place. Agatha Crane, Simon's assistant. But I'm afraid we have to wait for Mr. Page if we want to go in. Why? A keycard issue. I have to recode them every week because Mr. Page has a thing about security. But sometimes newly encoded cards don't work. I call them unpredictable little things. They can ruin even the best schedule. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh, uh, what? Oh, oh God. That makes my schedule irrelevant. Were you or anyone else in the office yesterday after Mr. Page left? No. Mr. Page always stays late, and just the two of us work here. Allow me to check the phones. Mr. Page called the office during his murder. Of course. But first we need to get inside. Maybe you could help with the door. Follow me. All calls go through my phone. It's on the desk on the right. Things to throw away. I regularly clean my workspace. I don't like to be distracted by anything. You have no new messages. The phone on Mr. Page's desk is connected to his answering machine. It's the only one in this office. Maybe he did not get a chance to record his message. Organ selling and other ideas for making money? The books were bought for show. Visitors don't look too closely, and making an impression is all that matters. Mr. Page's words. Mr. Page's private schedule. Some of his meetings were so secret that he arranged them for himself. I didn't even know about them. Mr. Page's computer. I don't have access to it. Receipts for gifts that Mr. Page gave during business meetings. Did you find any leads? You know, perhaps you should check out Mayor Kuzak's team. 
As the death of Mr. Page plays into their hands. According to his schedule, Mr. Page often met with a person marked as G. In fact, they met yesterday. Oh, God. Could he be the murderer? Do you know who that might be? As I said, Mr. Page had a thing about secrecy. I wasn't allowed to view his private schedule, so I don't know all the people listed there. What about his receipts? There was one for earrings. Who were they for? For Gloria. Oh, God. G. Gloria who? Gloria Lindbergh, from Kuzak's campaign office. Mr. Page wanted her to change sides. Do you know where she lives? It's just a short walk from here. An apartment opposite the basketball court. I don't know the exact address. Where'd you find out? We have a suspect. I am on my way to question her. In the office, there is an assistant of the deceased. I'll keep an eye on this place till you get back. Kurtz will be here in a minute. He just went to get us a couple burgers. Are you Gloria Lindbergh from Mayor Cusack's office? So OCP is using less and less subtle methods to intimidate us. What do you want? I am here to ask questions about Simon Page. He's my political opponent. I have nothing more to say about him. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh. Too bad for him. I, I kind of liked him. So why are you here? We have reason to believe that you are involved. On what basis? Evidence suggests that you had a relationship with him. Evidence fabricated by OCP? Did you or did you not meet yesterday? I was supposed to, for business. But Simon called my office and canceled the meeting. The investigation demands that I search your apartment. If OCP wants to frame me, you probably won't back off anyway, so come on in. I was wondering if there was a man hiding under that shiny armor. I have a second glass if you want to loosen up. Is this a gift from Mr. Page? He gave them to me when we met. He was probably trying to buy his way into my favor. I lost the second one. I lead a busy social life. It's not a crime, is it, officer? I have various hobbies. Sailing is one of the more innocent ones.
Do you like it, officer? Such strong hands can probably tie strong knots. I have a prescription for them. I can't fall asleep when I'm alone in bed. So? Am I under arrest? Maybe you want to cuff me? Be careful what you wish for. According to Mr. Page's schedule, you met often. Too often for business meetings. <laughs> that doesn't make me a murderer. Simon contacted me a month ago. He wanted me to join Mills' campaign office. We slept together a couple of times, and there was something electrifying about it. Secrecy, his connections with OCP, the consequences if we were found out. And we were. His assistant figured it out. She must have reported us, and OCP killed him. They were afraid he might give me Mills' campaign details. You claim that Agatha Crane knew about your affair. Not only knew, but she blackmailed Simon. She's ambitious. She wanted to get a promotion out of it, but Simon fired her. When was Agatha fired? Maybe a week ago? <laughs> you should talk to her, not me. I intend to do that. Please stay at our disposal. Missing you already. Officer Neal, come in. Is the victim's assistant still with you? O'Neal here. We have a problem. Locating her. But I can assure you she didn't leave the office. You'll see what I mean when you get here. On my way. Keep Ms. Crane there and be careful. She is our prime suspect. Understood. Where is Agatha? A very good question. When you left, I came inside to take her statement, but there was no one here. Kurt showed up soon after. We've been looking for the lady ever since, but she's vanished into thin air. She couldn't have left the office without us seeing her, though. We must find her. New evidence suggests that she is the murderer. Once again, let's just check every corner. She couldn't just disappear. How do we know that the missing lady is the one who did this? She had a motive. She threatened to reveal Paige's affair to get a promotion. He fired her instead. A secret button hidden in the desk. This is getting more interesting. As long as it's not red, I think we... The case of the mysterious disappearance solved. Now all we have to do is open that door. It looks like she used a computer. Open sesame. Maybe we can find something there. Ah, oh, sure. Keep reminding me of the delicious... Just delete already! Burger bun that we have... Agatha Crane, you are under arrest for the murder of Simon Page. It was just removing an obstacle. You have the right to remain silent. I had the right to do it. He didn't even realize that by blackmailing him, I proved that I'll do anything for the job. 
What else would you want from a political strategist? You have the right to an attorney. This is my attorney. I wasn't born to end up in jail. I was born for great things, and only I decide my fate. There are no bullets in that gun. The clip is out. Unpredictable little things. Again, it's frustrating when they ruin even the best schedule. Everything will go according to plan for the next several decades. Okay, lady, show's over. You're coming with us. I hope they throw away the key. Because of your cold-blooded murder, I'll have to reheat my burgers. the files that you sent us and it turns out that the data from your evaluations have been used to prepare an afterlife presentation and get this it's taking place right now to put a cherry on top the old man is in attendance just find where the afterlife presentation is taking place and you'll catch the old man red-handed that is how i prefer to catch i didn't know animals. today's bring your kid to work day just let me go. You said yourself that you didn't have Welcome time Welcome to Omni me. Consumer Products. I know who How you may are, I help you? lady. You broke into the security room. You're up to something. Hey, Robo. A meeting could regarding you resolve afterlife this issue we're having? is taking place right now. I want to know where. Let me check. Yes, that would be the executive conference room on the top floor. The elevators are behind me. But I'm looking at the guest list and I'm not seeing your name. I will be the highlight. There's been a security breach I need to investigate, but someone's got to escort this trespasser out of the building. I could help in both cases. Good. The breach seems like a big job. Once you're done with her, can you join me in the server room? It's just down the hall. Sure he could. Don't think it's over, lady. I'll check the security cameras later to see what you've been up to. Expect a visit from the police in a couple of days. I'll buy coffee and donuts to welcome him. You are responsible for that security breach. I'm trying to save people's homes. Do I have to remind you what OCP is planning to do with the residents of Old Detroit to create space for Delta City? A reminder will not hurt. OCP needs to run Old Detroit into the ground to move forward with the creation of Delta City. The problem is there are people still living there. So OCP takes their property in exchange for supposed profit shares from the investment in the construction. I believe this loophole will allow OCP to rob these people of all they have. I need to find out what the estimates are for those additional costs. As you can imagine, they don't include them in their brochures. So I have to dig deeper. All the information I need to help those people is in the room where the security guard is expecting you. So can you help me get those records out?
I will not let OCP hustle innocent people. You'll find the relevant data on one of the servers. I'll be waiting here to pick it up. But you don't have the proper clearance. You won't be able to access the elevators, sir! Sir! Let me get that door for you. I saw that whole scene. The way they treated you. Not on my watch. Going up? Beautiful, isn't it? This view gives me hope. Shows what Detroit is capable of when not hindered by the city's worst. You probably know that better than anyone else. You deal with filth more than any of us. These miserable people, crammed into those tiny apartments like cockroaches. I swear I need a shower whenever I go canvassing in old Detroit. But not for much longer. I'm heading to a meeting about the Delta City relocations so that we finally get the poor, criminal elements out of our great city. Exciting, isn't it? You and me together. We'll clean the city right up. That's why I wouldn't mind you giving me a nod during your public appearances. We need a little push in the ratings. Remember, it's your freedom we're talking about. Anyway, great talk. Vote Mills, vote RoboCop. This is a friendly reminder. A gunshot wound no longer entitles you to a day off, unless hospitalization is required. Thank you. There is no one here. What? Look around. See if we're missing something. Do not be amazed when a man grows rich, for when he dies, he takes nothing with him. Until now. Afterlife, OCP's answer to death itself. As a frontrunner in human-machine hybrids, OCP is focused on proving that death is no longer the end. With a number of successful prototypes, our team continues to work tirelessly to ensure Afterlife is more stable than any of our previous cybernetic achievements. We've come a long way since OCP's first cyborg. This is how I see myself. To now. Hi, I'm Eve, and I've died, but that's not stopping me. With the newest development in cyborg research, OCP was able to give me another chance. And now I'm back to enjoying my life, or should I say, afterlife. Because at OCP, the goal is no longer to live, but to thrive after death. And since our friends in the government are fighting for human rights for all people that were once pronounced dead, my life will return to what it was in no time. Under my legislation, RoboCop and all future cyborgs will be granted human rights. They'll be able to live, vote, and run their businesses just like the rest of us. Vote Mills, vote RoboCop. Afterlife. Eternity. Today. Oh, sorry, I didn't know someone was here. Eve? It's actually Meg. Are you like me? So you've seen the ad, huh? Sorry, I'm not a robot. Just a commercial actress. I've been a face for a lot of stinkers, but good luck selling afterlife. Technology that won't be available to us for the next hundred years or so, I've heard. Where is everyone? From what I understand, the old man cancelled the meeting last minute. I don't know why no one tells me anything around here. So he is behind all of it? Who else would authorize funding of such a pretentious project? So you are selling something that does not work? That's advertising for you. At least with Afterlife, we won't get many complaints from the dissatisfied customers. Because... <laughs> They'd be dead, you know? What about all the money that went into research? From what I hear, OCP gave it the college try. They spent a lot of money on some prototypes, but this time they ended up with nothing. That's how it often goes with these cutting-edge projects. 
I imagine there were quite a lot of unsuccessful robocops before you came along. Where did they conduct the research for this project? I don't know, but I don't think it's in this building. I've noticed that there are always big cooling trucks parked in front of OCP when they're showing off new tech. Where is the old man? Probably in his office, at the end of the hall. But I don't think barging in unannounced is such a good idea. I disagree. Suit yourself. Can someone take this robot away from here? I'm... Why was he smiling when I signed it? He never... Do you think you have to stop coming to the office? You no longer work here. You... Put your hands up. You are under arrest. That's no way to talk to an acting CEO. You didn't come here to congratulate me? So, you haven't heard. It's been on every channel for the past hour. Watch some TV once in a while. Life's passing you by. As the former CEO of Omni Consumer Products passed away earlier this morning, we at Channel 9 are deeply saddened by this horrific tragedy. Our condolences go out to the OCP family in these dark times. In other news, why do balloons make that popping sound? About time the old man kicked the bucket. A Japanese company is already eyeing to buy us out. The way he was managing the company lately, he'd basically run it to the ground. Especially with his personal projects. Afterlife. Ah, oh, you heard about that too. How desperate. Just die gracefully, you old fuck. But don't you worry about it. As an acting CEO, I'm putting a stop to all of OCP's unnecessary expenses. And that includes all of the old man's pet projects. So say bye-bye to Afterlife, and Delta City for that matter. Wendell is still out there. The market will take care of him. With no one to finance his stunts, he'd need an army willing to mindlessly fight for him, and for free. So there's nothing for you to worry about anymore. Well, maybe about collecting unemployment, since I'm firing the entire police force and replacing them all with my robots. Those robots are unreliable. Oh, that's adorable. Especially coming from you. But you'll get to see the improvements we've made firsthand. Since I need you to come to the Arms Expo. Just don't be late. Now, you leave. Bitches, come! It's time to celebrate. Let's throw the old man a hell of a wake. Oh, Robo! That Expo thing is a black tie event. Then again, I guess that doesn't concern you. You could arrest me, officer. I even have my own handcuffs. Because 
of the tragedy that has struck our company, you will be informed by your superiors about the recommended ways to experience mourning. The meeting is not included as work time. Thank you. The old man is dead. Yeah, I just heard. So what do we do about afterlife? Becker is shutting it down. Not the only thing he's shutting down. I just got a call from the precinct. Everyone's been fired. So what now? What about Wendell? We wait for his move. He'll be desperate. I bet he'll try to get as many supplies as he can before his money runs out. But where will he go to do that? The Detroit Arms Expo. Shit, that's right around the corner. I could go there. No. Stay with Dr. Blanche. Becker wants me to attend the Expo. This way, I can keep an eye on unwanted guests. I hear you. Such a tragedy, but uh, are our bonuses safe? <laughs> <laughs> 